I simulated civilization on survival islands in hardcore Minecraft, and today I'm going to take you through the whole story that took place over the last 10 months on this server, so you can see the highs and lows of each civilization all in one place, and see what happened when they were forced to face deadly creatures, natural disasters, and even betrayal as hundreds of players each tried their best to survive through this experiment. So sit back, relax, and get ready for a wild adventure. This is the Survival Island Civilization Experiment. So, this adventure started when I put 100 players on a survival island, and as they all spawn into the world, the race to grab resources and find friends started. Grab wood, grab wood, grab wood! Get yeah, wood, get wood. I'm going for a sampling, alright? I think that's more important. But as players rushed towards some ruins that had been spotted on the island, they opened up a chest to grab some loot and had set off a trap underneath, exploding and killing five people right away. Holy... As the chaos continued, players started to escape the island in the hopes of a higher chance of survival. And as they headed out, people started grouping up in separate calls and making small islands of their own out in the middle of the ocean away from everybody else, as they used up the resources from the starting island to try and make some progress. Other groups split up with some players heading underground to try and grab some iron, whilst others set off into the open seas to try and find anything that could help them. After rowing away from the main island, a group of players had spotted a new island. Oh wait, another island, right there. We found another island. Oh, and oh, maybe whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where okay. do I head? What, what direction do I head? These guys quickly claimed this land and started coming up with their plans moving forward. Everyone just work towards anything that we need. Mining, trees, food, building. Whilst these guys regrouped their team from the previous event and reinstated the island of Nepal, the people that were still back at the spawn island were starting to face some serious troubles as they rushed to try and get some resources from the caves. No, there's a cave. Someone's already been down here. Someone's already been down here. Let's just keep going down. Oh, there's mobs. Oh, I'm getting shot by a skeleton. Help. Whoa. But eventually their luck turned as they continued to explore and started to strip. Found diamonds, found diamonds, found diamonds. I found diamonds. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. I got the iron pick, I'm coming over. With small teams starting to pop up all over the ocean, the team building phase came to an end. And now each island had to vote for a king to lead their players for the rest of this event. For most teams, this was an easy decision. Oh! King of the uh, soccer, 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 soccer. Soccer, yeah. Soccer, ready. Oh, I got, oh yeah. the, I got the crown. We gotta select we a crown, we gotta select a king, or, and the king is the wild dude. But for other teams, this phase turned out to be harder than expected, as some people tried assassinating their newly crowned leaders after the votes didn't go in their favor. Oh, uh, they're killing us, they're killing me. Yeah. yeah. He's running after us. Oh, uh, does anyone have his vote? Nice, oh, nice, get us stuff, take us stuff, take us stuff. But this wasn't the only team that had trouble during this phase. A group called the Sexy People had set up an underground base and had to kill one of their members that was also complaining about their choice of king. After this, the server was left with only 81 players remaining already, split over 8 teams all across the ocean that were setting up their very own empires. Once the king election phase was complete, all teams now had a king that they believed was going to lead their team to victory, but with that phase over meant another phase was starting. The border of this world was now expanding, giving players more areas of the ocean to explore and claim. Most teams had already set up a small island of their own, so the border expansion wasn't valuable to them anymore. But they didn't realise this phase uncovered a whole new island that contained a village. Whilst everybody else stayed on their islands, a small team that hadn't set up camp yet spotted it, so headed over and claimed it as their own before anybody else did. Just as these guys arrived, one of the Nepal members also spotted the island and checked it out to see if he could find anything valuable to take back home to his team. But these village people that had arrived here first were not happy about him being on their land, so slaughtered him before he could steal anything. Oh, guys, I died. Um, I died. Uh, I don't know some random at the village, so... As Nepal were notified about the death of their member, they set up a grave right away and noted down that that village was hostile. But this team wasn't the only team trying to cause some conflict on the server. A group of players that called themselves the Cookie Cult had set up just off the coast of the starting island and were starting to mess with the players that had claimed it after everybody else had left. You stole the sheep! <laughs> <laughs> I was coming to kill the sheep and he stole it! After stealing some animals from the spawn, they headed back to the comfort of their own island and started working on their plans to launch an attack later on. Yeah, wait, could we make it like a secret island. tunnel onto the main island or something? Yeah, we definitely should. But before they could start attacking anyone, they ran into a problem. As a team labelled the Cookie Cult, 
Well, they couldn't make any cookies for their team because they had no cocoa beans. And instead of just changing their team name like anybody else would, they decided to approach me as an admin with an offer. If we trade somebody's life for a cocoa bean, we will sacrifice somebody. Uh, okay, that, that's interesting. I'm, I'm going to let you guys do that. You can sacrifice one player on your team for a cocoa bean. Oh, no. Oh, no. As I left these guys with the hard choice of choosing someone from their team to sacrifice, a lone player called Duxter approached their island, and they saw this as a perfect opportunity. We induct somebody into our group and then sacrifice them. Yes! Can we sacrifice Duxter? Since this guy was all alone, he saw this as a great chance to join a pretty well-established team, so was all in when they offered him to join them. What he didn't realize at this point, though, was that he was joining a cult and was going to be their first sacrifice. You will become a member as, of the cookie call and we shall feed as you. As the leader of this cult, I hereby induct you into death. <laughs> <laughs> we get cocoa bean! You get a single cocoa bean. That is it. There you go. There you go. It's, it's, it's been dropped. Let's go, everybody. We are doing well. So, after sacrificing their brand new recruit, they were given the cocoa bean that they were promised, and now they were able to start production of their team cookies at the cost of somebody else's life. But whilst this cult had been busy sacrificing players for items, the group that went by the sexy people had finally resurfaced and were starting to try and hunt down some other civilizations. Is that right, everyone's everyone's in a boat, right? right? We have everyone. Alright, let's guys, go. North There's a civilization in Northwest, I saw them before I went here. So as these guys set out towards the teams in the ocean, they spotted the island of Nepal and now had a choice to make. Holy crap, do we got? Do we team with these guys or kill them? No, we should kill them. We they, should they're kill heavily under you. Yeah. No, 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 I think they're There's actually heavily kids. They're heavily oh, kids. Yeah, yeah, they are. As the sexy people approached the island, the guards of Nepal spotted them and alerted their team. Oh, uh, guys, guys, we have uh, intruders. How are you going to make traps here? We have intruders. intruders. Wait, where, 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 where? Wait, how many? Do you see seven? Okay, That's I'm going to go talk to them. Guys, guys I guys, hope these not guys are friendly. Fight. Do not start a fight. We, we don't win this. I, I They're stacked. As the people of Nepal took cover up their staircase to heaven, their leader, Dawao Dude, went on the front line to speak to the leader of the sexy group to try and avoid fighting. I I see y'all are here. Hello, Link. Uh, I'll put my sword away as Hello. a sort of good measure. We're not here yep. to start any sort of conflicts. Um, I would love to know why you're here. Welcome to Nepal. Uh, hello, we're not actually trying to start any conflicts either. We're really just trying to get away from the main island before okay. it gets crowded. So we're just passing through. I would love to um, make a proposal to you and your people. Um, what's, what's the name of your nation? The Sexy Group. The Sexy Group. I am a big fan of that name. Well, um, what if our two nations collided and we became the sexy Nepal and we had two leaders of you and myself? We're fine with yeah, that. Yeah, we're fine with that. Yeah? I, I bet. So after the sexy people went back on their earlier idea to invade this island, they decided to join forces, creating the great nation of sexy Nepal. All right, how's it going down there? Uh, the wow did their call. I, I believe in him. We have decided that their people are going to join our people of Nepal. So we have a lot of new we have a lot of new friends here. But even though these guys agreed to join up, some members of the merge didn't seem too happy about one of the rules over on this island. If there was a legal binding contract that we have to die, if someone breaks the flag in the middle, I'm leaving and I'm not abiding by that. That's right. The people of Nepal once again were worshipping a flower. These guys were willing to put their lives on the line for this flower. Uh, everybody, this is our holy flower of Nepal. We need to protect it with our lives. Wait, and if these guys found out that one of their new members was disrespecting the team flower, he would soon be killed, so he had to be very careful. As all of the teams continued to make progress as the time passed by, the village teams seemed to be struggling with a lack of communication and resources, even though they had the biggest island on the server by far. So in the hopes of finding some iron to defend themselves, they dove into a ravine that somebody found on their island. I'm gonna go There's mine. zombies behind us, just saying. I can't fight these, I'm at two and a half hearts. I a little run, 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 run. Don't die, don't die. But don't die, please do not die, just run. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm building up, I'm building up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, 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 oh
Yes, that was one of ours. With a player from their team dead, these guys were now down to seven members and had to start seriously working together to get some iron for armor or else soon they'd be wiped off the server completely by the bigger teams that were only growing in size. But even with all the big teams dominating the waters, below the surface, some smaller teams were still doing a really good job of making their own underground civilizations. Yeah. Sword, we got a nice little civilization going on here. I won't lie. Nice. Very Did nice. you see oh, me get attacked and kill Whoa. a guy in full iron? I did. Yeah, I had I had one heart. Oh. I got a guy banned for combat logging. Yeah. yeah. Participating. Yeah, yeah. They they just uh, disintegrate in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. Like, you should oh. give us diamonds. <laughs> we uh, are. I don't know about that really one. After being asked for some free diamonds, I left those guys underground as word started to break out around the server about the cookie cult being hostile after a player managed to escape from being sacrificed by them. Would you like to join our cult? Oonga bunga, oonga bunga, oonga bunga, oonga bunga. I welcome you to death. Just get killed! Wait, 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 wait. I have to sink, sink. Since the island building phase was still happening, PvP was disabled, allowing this guy to just walk away from them. So he took this opportunity to alert all the other teams on the server that the cookie cult were hostile, putting almost every team on guard. Wait, incoming attack? No, there there no. might be pot potential, unlikely, but potential. Okay. You die around, you die so should just be, be on your guard for new people. Like, memorize the people around you and close to you. So, as the team stood at their walls, looking out just in case they were going to be attacked, the building phase came to an end as hunger had struck the server. Next phase oh. in one second. Ouch. Hunger. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We have a farm. Nobody move, nobody move, nobody move, nobody move. This phase wasn't actually meant to kill anyone. And as expected, it didn't. All teams were able to stay alive no matter their size by sticking near their farms, limiting movement, and even cooking up the unlimited amounts of kelp under the water. Yeah, don't you guys yeah, agree that, that, that kelp will be a very reliable food source? Does anyone have milk? But it turns out some people did have milk. The players over at the village had trapped some cows for milk and started finally working together to make sure that they were able to survive this event. But as mentioned, this phase wasn't designed to kill anybody. It was simply a phase to drain each team of their resources as the next phase approached. The Blood Moon. Oh no! Wait, 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 this is this is how we get this is how we get spiders. But before we get into that, I want to thank today's sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder is a free-to-play epic military action game about confrontations between a range of military ground vehicles, aircrafts, and navy vessels. Join your friends and go to battle as you explore through new locations and use different vehicles to take down your enemies. The new Sky Guardians update was recently released, adding the Yak-141 fighter jet, the Little Bird helicopter, and a bunch of other aircrafts that you can take into battle as you enjoy the updated visual effects, making fights even more realistic than before. So if you want to get in on the battle, download War Thunder for free through the link in the description. All new players and those that haven't entered War Thunder for over 6 months will receive 100,000 Silver Lions, the option to rent legendary ground vehicles for a week, 3 premium vehicles, XP boosters, and so many other bonuses. Once again, a huge thank you to War Thunder. Now, let's get back to the Blood Moon. Guys, Blood Moon. Ooh, Blood Moon. This guy. Oh, light. Get light. Flame torches, get torches. This, oh, oh, yeah, there's a lot of get the right. Right. Oh, they're yeah, throwing tridents. Oh my god, there's a lot of mobs. There's a lot of mobs. Oh. All right, we might just want to stay inside until daytime. Yeah, yeah, we should yeah, just, just, we should just, just go back inside. Oh, let's just regroup, let's just regroup. As most teams took to safety, knowing they didn't have the food and strength to take on the mobs that were invading their islands, Soccer51x decided to think he was invincible, as he tried to take down an entire horde of zombies that had tracked him and his teammate down in the caves. Oh my gosh, we're losing to 20,000 zombies! There's skeletons now! Run, 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 run. Come on, run, 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 run. I'm dropping lava, I'm dropping lava, I'm dropping lava, run, 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 run. Uh, Soccer, Soccer, oh, run, I want that, I want that golden armor though. Right. Take it up, pick it up, pick it up. Soccer, it's no point. So? It's no point. We don't oh, want I got the golden die. one with me. Soccer, okay. get out of there. Soccer, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Help! 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 No, help! Please. Help! 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 I'm Red. At, I'm at half a heart. I can't help. Red, I'm at. I'm at. Run, run, run. Uh, oh my gosh! What? How did he hit me? He just hit me through a block. With the blood moon claiming its first life, the other teams continued to defend their land as Soccer left his team behind with no king after his reckless choices killed him. 
Back at the sexy Nepal Island, their sky base quickly turned into a mob farm due to a lack of light. Light up the sky base at the top, okay? <gasps> Run! But guys, there's a lot of drones. Yeah, I hear drones too. Oh, they're coming. Oh, yeah, oh, they're, they're trying to, they're oh, trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to, be careful. With the Blood Moon finally coming to an end, all but a few people managed to survive, and now the islands could get back to their plans of building up some huge civilizations out in the sea. We're here for expansion and development, so I want to make the landmass itself larger today. We have 30 minutes to do it. Back at the Cookie Cult, they continued with their efforts to annoy and attack every team that they could see. And unfortunately for the team at the main island, most of the time, that was them. Let's break their crops, Greg. I should have killed their cow, shouldn't I? I, ki I, killed, their, I killed their chicken. Ah, they're killing my lava! I'm good! I'm gonna start slaughtering these guys' as animals. Yeah. They don't know why I'm in here killing their animals. Whilst these guys were busy messing with other players on the main island, one of the kings of Sexy Nepal had headed out with a few of his teammates to check out this cookie cult that was being spoken of so much in chat. Holy crap, look at this. Oh my That's god. Nice you guys see people. Lie. Let's no, let's just let's go past them. Yeah. We're looking for sugar cane, we're not looking for trouble. But instead of worrying about the people floating around their base, they were too busy focused on destroying the main island's food source. All the animals on Middle Island is dead. I took their last baby cow. Back underground, the team that had lost their leader during the Blood Moon had a member that had to leave. And Sokka saw this as the perfect chance for him to get back into the game. Wait, Knight, do you have to go off it? I mean, it's just I have to work tomorrow, so. Knight, give me your login. Knight, give me your login. You're not getting my login. No, so I can play as you. I can play as you. After begging his teammate to share his login details to try and get a second chance in this event, the knight in red was safe and didn't share his password, as he shouldn't have. So instead, they decided to approach me with a different offer. Sword, can we sacrifice someone? Can we sacrifice someone's life to bring someone back? That's an interesting proposal. That is an I mean, that's why we're a cult. That could be what we do. Okay, if the knight in red agrees to this, then sure. If yes. fucking come back, yes. To make it fair, since I let another team sacrifice a player to get cocoa beans, I agreed to this offer and allowed these guys to sacrifice a member of their team to bring back their king. Yay! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> so now these guys were back in business. They reinstated their plans and got back to work. Hi guys, where are we going? Where, how are we in the surface? We've already, we're already, we've already left. We've already left. Back above the surface, the village group had run into a serious problem. These guys had been hit with a raid, meaning pillagers were now charging through their island, killing everyone they could find. Guys, help! Vindicate us! I'm one tap! Stick together. If you're by yourself, you're going to die. Shoot me! Run, 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 run! There's a rabbit here. The iron golem's gonna help us. No yes. iron golem. Oh god. Watch out! There's somebody out for you, gay. Just run. Just run. Oh no! No! Things only started getting worse for their team as their king was killed by the raiders. What? Oh. That's our king. Oh my god. You have to run. Guys, you have to run. Just take all the stuff. Just take all the Jeez. stuff. I'm sorry. No, don't run. We can kill them. I'm we not can't. running. I'm not running. Just prepare yourselves. Just fight. Just fight. As these guys argued over whether they should abandon their village or continue to fight, Sokka led his cult out of the mines to finally breach the surface to see what had happened since they went down below at the start. Look, oh, there's people. There's people. There's, people. there's a sheep! What is this guy doing here? Yo, we gotta kidnap this sheep. Hi, Red. Oh, Red, okay. you're not shifted. Red, I can see your name tag. Do we just take it? Let's just take a peek out. Let's just take a peek out. Take a peek out. Hi, horse. As these guys broke out into fresh air, they spotted the main island team walking around the island. Like that guy has a diamond chest plate and a crown. <gasps> it's my stuff. Wait, did you find the zombie? He might have found that zombie. But as they hung around, the plans between the teams started to quickly fall apart. Guys, I'm just gonna go. I'm going. No, no, no. We can't fight. We can't hit. We can't hit people. Remember? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna go explore. No. Listen, we Why? need to assassinate that king. We can't do that if they know there's people in the area. Whilst they hid waiting to make their strike, they quickly realized they were outnumbered. Oh. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. Go back there. But at this point, it was already too late, and the king of this island had spotted them lurking around. Hello, guys. We're not, we're not, we're not aggressive. We don't plan on killing you guys. 
We just know. Oh, I want to know what you guys are doing here. Uh, uh we're just I'm exploring. Just we're just scared, and I've been in the caves yeah. for so long. We've, I need sunlight. We've I'm been underground for so long. We are willing to take you guys in. We have a main base. We're the only base in the main area right now. We will absolutely take you guys in. After a quick thought, Soccer and his team agreed to join forces with the main island people and resurface to check out their brand new base, and got caught up to speed with everything that had happened since the start. So what? What's all? What's going on with those other guys then? Well, after being told everything, Soccer had an important question he needed answering before he went any further with this team we will help you um, however uh we should we should talk about like power dynamic to put it simply my guys are gonna follow me and your guys are gonna follow you we're two I, coexisting I think, teams yeah. so with that all sorted they stood on guard looking out over the water waiting for an attack from the cookie cult at any time but these guys weren't the only people preparing for an attack since back at the island of Sexy Nepal, one of their members had gone rogue and killed another team's king and had an entire army chasing after him. Uh, they, they um, I well. killed the king. I killed the king. What? You killed the king? Yeah. Oh, from from who? What? No idea. Why, why did you uh, do that? Boys, I'm gonna now be probably hunted, so, um... You cannot you bring those people here. Water. That's a shame to our nation. Yeah. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Where, where, where are they coming from? Bad news, they have enchanted gear, and there's yeah. a lot of them, and they think we're hostile. Yeah, we gotta strap up, guys. We gotta strap up. That's what she said. During this chaos, one of their players also accidentally fell off their sky base and died. Oh she my god, I fell, I'm dead. <gasps> no. 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 I fell, I fell through the trap. And this wasn't the only death. As TJ started building a memorial for their recently fallen soldier, another one of their members died. I'm dead, 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 the island building phase came to an end, and now it was time for the purge. I'd like to make an announcement. During this phase of the purge, I'm going to be putting Nepal on a full lockdown. We're going to be having everybody on guard duty. The only time people should be leaving the borders and the walls is to gather food if needed. As Nepal went on full lockdown, the cookie cult saw this as the perfect time to leave their island and follow through with their plan from earlier on as they went underground and started tunneling towards the middle island to launch an attack. Okay, hold on. Robo, lead the way. He found my tunnel that leads to the main island. We are going to attack them. Whilst they mined away underground, the main island players were ready for whatever was coming their way. I don't know. Oh, first, first, first. First. Nobody kill each other. Nobody kill each other. So we must yeah, defend against the onslaught that they're about to come. But without realizing, the cookie cult had mined way past the island, and when they resurfaced, were so much further away than when they started. We're not, stay calm we're not even close. You have to go Egg, just faster. swim. One good thing to come from this, though, now was that they were behind the island, meaning they could sneak up on their enemies without them realizing at all. Shit, shit. Get ready. Attack. Oh, they know, shit, they know. Shit, shit, shit. Attack, attack. Ow. Attack. They're an unchained armor attack. Got one? Uh, yes. Got another. Nice. As the cookie cult invaded the main island and wiped out everyone they could see, Soccer and JJQ watched their new island being taken over from a distance, after they left a few seconds before the attack to check out the sky base in the distance. Are we- are they being invaded? Oh yeah, there's all- they've been invaded, they've been invaded, JJQ. Okay. So after a successful purge for the cookie cult, they counted their kills and headed home. You killed four. Jesus. <laughs> okay, let's head nice. back. Good job. Soldiers, soldiers, I'm coming to meet you. Back at the island of Nepal, their purge was super quiet after nobody approached their island the entire phase. But somehow, they still managed to lose members, and it was once again to their sky base. No, oh. I died! No! No! But this wasn't their only death. Uh, I I'm at sky base. Oh, no! I died! No, no, oh my god! No. How did you no. die? <laughs> I fell. I thought there was water and I fell and I died. I'm stupid. The Link, also known as the King of the Sexy People, had fallen to his death, promoting Dude as the one and only King of Sexy Nepal, and leaving the team in a very rough place. Yeah. I'm gonna make a special no, diorite no. memorial for him. No, but times were only going to get worse for every team on the server from now on, 
as a few members from the main island managed to regroup after their invasion, the purge phase had come to an end, and the sacrifice phase started. Each team now had 5 minutes to sacrifice a player on their team, and if they failed to do that, their entire team would be killed. No. Oh god. Oh my god. All right, everybody. Um, <laughs> anyone got this a... is this is a rough moment. Oh. Sacrifice. Nose goes. Oh. Not it. Not it. Nose goes. Not it. Whilst most teams struggled to choose which of their members would be sacrificed, some other teams went for an interesting approach to make the choice easier. What we're doing is a game of sumo, because I can't decide, and the first person to get knocked off gets eliminated. Three, okay. two, one, go! Oh my god, the intensity! Oh, yeah. No! Oh. No! Right. No! Who fell off? Sorry, nigga. We're sorry. sorry. No! I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> the middle team also made their sacrifice after someone stepped forward and took one for the team. All right, kill him now. Scar, I'm sorry. Right, Scar, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, Scar. Thank you, Scar. Scar's dead. Oh. All right, we know who's the sacrifice. Killer's already said he would sacrifice right. himself if it came down to no. it. Uh, kill him, kill him, kill him, wait, kill him. No, 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 wait. Yes, just kill him. Please. Yeah! All the way back over at the island of Nepal, they had voted for Toxed to be their sacrifice. But this went horribly wrong as he snapped out and retaliated against his team. Tox, take your armor off. Can we do this in the sky base, please? No, no, no. no. no we don't right have now, time. We don't have time. Tox, take your armor off. I'm gonna do this. Oh, what? Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, whoa, whoa, yo what the hell? Wait, what's going on? Kill him. Kill him. Go, go, go. Tox! We sacrificed the one who. Bubble. What happened? Bubble. Why'd you kill Bubble? No way! His selfish actions ended up claiming two members of Nepal. And his team, well, X team, were not happy about it. Everybody stop talking. Toxed, get the hell out of this Discord. You're the no, kill worst him. person. Kill him. Yeah, you killed me because ever. of your traps. Guys, With I'm. I'm Toxed is not getting a memorial. During this whole situation, Nepal failed to realize that the border was now shrinking as a part of the next phase. But the other teams were fully aware since they made their sacrifice well in time and were now starting to prepare their escapes from their islands just in case the border pushed them away. Border shrinking. Really oh my God. God. Grab all the food. Whilst the few remaining members of the Middle Island waited to see if the border was closing in on them, the Cookie Cult saw this as the perfect opportunity to abandon their base entirely and try and clean up the final few members that were remaining. Yeah, ready? Let's go. Army, go. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. They're not that geared, we're fine. Just go around and we can go to Sky Base. We do Wait, not what? need to go up against that right now. Yeah, if right there's now. someone's here, you murder them immediately. Whilst the Cookie Cult looted through this sky base, their base was lost to the border. Cookie oh, Cult HQ has been lost. Oh, oh okay, that's us. That was, that was our base. As the border continued to shrink, the two players that somehow managed to defeat the raid over at the village had been forced off their island and approached the island of Nepal to see if they could be taken in. Guys, the wow dude is talking with these two at the moment. No worries, okay. just hold, okay. hold, hold on. Kill them, everyone jump them. Instead of killing them, the wow dude accepted them into his island, allowing them to join Nepal, even though they literally killed a member of Nepal earlier in this event. As the border continued to shrink, the main island was also taken over, forcing all of the members remaining to seek shelter at Nepal after their brief alliance earlier on. Luckily for them, the island of Nepal was the only island still left inside of the border. So as they were being chased by the rogue cookie cult members, all of the allied nations were able to be together to help defend against the army incoming. Go back and tell them that we're refugees. Go back and tell them that we're refugees. We're being chased down. We're being freaking chased down. We we joined up with Nepal. We jo we, we've joined up with Nepal. After everyone except the Cookie Cult were on the island of Nepal, they approached and realized that all of the other teams had banded together to take them down. Oh no, oh no. The, 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 the village team is trying to team up with me. Um. With the border shrink giving them no option, the teams were finally going to be face to face. All of the allied nations, Versus the cookie cult. Oh, wow, dude. Who are you? Who are you? I am. I am the leader of Nepal. Are you the ones who just approached our island? I am the leader of well, the cookie cult. Oh no. Wait. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Guys. Whilst Nepal insisted of being a peaceful nation, the cookie cult knew it was now or never, so launched their attack. I think it's, it's war. The attack is war. They're attacking. <laughs> oh, oh no! We're gonna die. We're all dying. 
Okay, they oh, killed our leader. Yeah. It's full on war. Whoa, 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 Guys, what's going on? Wait, Saga, get up here. Where's everyone? Where's everyone? Where's everyone? As the cookie cult lashed out, members of the allied nations took covers in the skies as warriors took on the cookie cult in the waters down below. But before they knew it, they had chosen the wrong decision as the cookie cult were being slaughtered. Greg, Greg, help me. Kill this guy, my friends. Kill this guy. Oh, no. I just... I died. I died. I died. After a quick battle, the cookie cult had been eliminated and Nepal had successfully defended their island thanks to the help from their allies. But would sexy Nepal be able to stay strong and rebuild their empire when faced with new challenges? Only time would tell as I put them on a new island and left them all alone with limited resources, deadly creatures, and 200 new players who would also be trying their best to survive through this experiment. And when they spawned in, the chaos started as they rushed towards the closest trees to try and get their hands on a piece of wood. Yeah, I got one, lads! I got a sapling! As the survivors started to realize the resources on this island were limited, they had another problem. Oh, it's a shark! <laughs> They're sharks, don't go in the water! There's sharks? What the f- Why are there sharks? What? This island was surrounded by sharks, making it almost impossible to leave here without a boat, which meant the players that had luckily picked up a few logs from the trees were able to escape from this island in the hopes of finding more land somewhere else. Nice, nice, nice. Go, go, go. Faster, faster. Bye, guys. As the players in the boat started to row off into the distance, the survivors back on the island decided to risk swimming away, which, of course, ended horribly after they were swarmed by the sharks. Well, I've been up this shark. With no other options, the survivors left back at the island started to work together to make a bridge across the ocean to see if they could spot any other islands in the distance. But this didn't end well after players started pushing past each other and knocking each other off. Hello, passing through. Oh! Okay, I have dirt. I have dirt. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Everyone I'm dead. who got dirt, go to the front. Oh, these yeah, guys. I'm swapping. Luckily for the players that had escaped on a boat, after a while of rowing, they were clear of the sharks and started to discover the new islands filled with wood, animals, and food sources that would help them to start building up their civilizations. Oh, yes, yes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, lads. As they hopped out of the boats and grabbed some extra resources, they split up once again and headed back towards the starting island to start picking up players to save them. Oh, sorry, sorry, join, join. Oh, there's like sharks. Faster, 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 solar, solar! Nice, 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 nice! Oh, 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 I'm swimming as fast as I can! Oh my god! After risking their lives, they were followed by this shark all the way back to the new island and were able to leave the boat just in time before they were bitten. Ooh, let's go, solar! Okay. Oh, it's the boys! It's the boys! This group wasn't the only one to make it away from the spawn, though, as a few other players that were able to get boats had escaped to different islands that they had also discovered after fleeing the spawn. But even though they had a boat, leaving spawn still wasn't easy for some. <laughs> don't know behind us. <laughs> ah, what the f With small groups starting to spread out all over the map, the majority of survivors were still trying to find ways to leave the starting island and survive. And after standing around trying to come up with an idea for a while, it was clear that they had to either risk swimming away and try to avoid the sharks, or die of hunger on the island. So they took the risk and entered the waters, which some players in the boats quickly spotted. There's people swimming. Yeah, some people are actually swimming. They're gonna die. Somehow, these players got super lucky in their escape and spotted a shipwreck at the bottom of the ocean that they knew they could grab wood from to craft boats to help with their escape. If we each go down and get one wood, we're good, okay? After diving below the surface, grabbing a few logs from the shipwreck, and somehow avoiding the sharks, they were able to craft the boats they needed to get to land. Land! Oh, sweet heaven. So, as the exploration phase came to an end, most survivors had now started progressing and forming teams on the new islands as they grouped up to stay safe. But due to the huge overpopulation of the islands, the lack of food to split between everyone was starting to affect the players badly as they continued to enter the shark-infested waters to grab kelp to avoid starving. I sent like three people to collect kelp, but I haven't seen any of them come back. And with no food returning to the island, some players were starting to die of hunger. Dude, help! 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 No food! Please help! Give him, hand him the food! Hand him the food! Okay, I'm taking damage. Hand him the food! Hand him the food! Give, give me, give me, give me! I'm gonna die! 
Someone hand them food. No. But as some islands faced hunger problems, others faced much different issues. Wait, there's a stingray. Guys, there's a stingray in our wall. There's two. Wait, this island was called Sexy Nepal. In the first edition of this video, a group of almost 30 players worked together and formed the great and peaceful nation of Sexy Nepal. And after their previous success in my event, where they were the last civilization standing, they met up as soon as they could at this island and started working together to build up a civilization of their own once again. We are all here, like most of the sex in Nepal is here. And with a much bigger force this time, they started to build up their island in the hopes to be a leading force during this event once again. And as the other islands continued to grow in size, they were going to have some competition. But even though the larger islands were starting to make good progress, there were still some smaller groups that were new to my events that had no idea what was happening. Uh, should we like team up with like more people and uh, or like how does how does this work? We okay. make like teams and groups on the islands. Have you done this before? No, never. First time, but I saw the video. These players were brand new to my events, so I had no idea what was going to happen as the event continued. So I decided to stand by each other's sides to give them the best chance of survival against the other players and the upcoming phases. I'm assuming some people are gonna turn on each other. We're just trying to make a small team of people. Let's stick together so we have safety. Can I trust you? Yeah. Look at me in your eyes. I'm a pretty good player. So as this small group started expanding and recruiting trustworthy players, all survivors continued to make progress regardless of the size of their group or island. And as the preparation phase had now come to an end, this meant each group now had a very important choice to make, as the leader election phase had started. And as the civilizations each started to make podiums for their members to stand on and give out speeches, players all started to gather around to make their votes. Everyone, this is my speech. Everyone I am 10,000 years old and I have exactly five minutes in leadership experience and I'd like to be your leader. I just think me because I'm, I'm based. Stupid. After a few people had taken the stand on this island and as more queued up, it seemed one player was slightly confused as he went up and actually started to explain why he shouldn't be the leader instead. I don't want to be the leader because I am not really that good at the game. But as usual, they saved the best speech until last, as Common Hat took his place on the podium and made a speech to the people of this land. Who loves war? Me! Oh, yeah. I love war. Yeah, this guy is cool! War is just part of human nature! Why fight it? Yes. You should embrace it! As leader, what will you do against uh, criminals in our society? Kill them all! Yeah! yeah. yeah. This guy is actually pretty cool. Execution! Yes. Execution! We choose Come Common. Common! With an inspiring speech from Common Hat, he won the votes of most players on this island who believed he could help them become a thriving civilization. And his first task was to rename this island as the New Slavic Empire. Today, I proclaim the New Slavic Empire! Whilst this election happened, Sexy Nepal had also hosted their own election just over the waters from this island. I am Duwadu. Uh In the oh, last hi. event, I was the leader of Sexy Nepal. Hello, people. Uh, some of you may know me. About how I'm run a, gonna run this, uh, this little group of ours, I, uh, I want to base it off respect for each other. You guys not, might not know me. I am a completely new person to these events. But as you can see, I already have full uh, iron armor, diamonds is as well. I can lead us to victory. I can arm. I'm not x -rayer. After their speeches were finished, or interrupted, the players started to crowd around their candidates of choice to vote who they wanted to be their leader. It seems Dawao has more people, slightly more than Kane. With the close lead, Dawao Dude had won, allowing him to take leadership of Sexy Nepal in the hopes of leading them to victory once again. And surprisingly, Kane was actually happy about not winning. I'm actually pretty good with this, now I have to make less decisions, it's good. With two islands already having voted for their leader, some of the smaller groups decided against hosting a full election and just gave leadership of the group to whoever took charge earlier on. Okay, so um, I'm voting, it's Nuke for a uh, leader. Oh damn. So with each civilization all over the map having elected who would be in charge of their island, their leadership skills would be quickly put to the test, as acid rain started falling from the sky, sending each civilization into chaos. Acid, acid, acid rain! Oh. Everyone get in the mine, in the mine! Everyone go to mining! Everyone, the wow! Underground, underground, underground. Underground, underground. Okay. Yeah, food? Yeah, I've got yeah. food. I'm oh. gonna die. Don't die, don't die, go! Go under something, go under something. Players on low health were killed instantly by the acid rain, as others took cover with almost no health left. 
Oh gosh. Uh, guys, I'm stuck at the surface. Oh, this sucks. We need to somehow get out of this situation. And the rain wasn't the only problem that these survivors had to face, as they quickly started to run out of food after having to leave their farms behind on the surface as they took cover from the rain. Cook we had a food water. problem, we had a food problem, we need to like resolve it. Davao, take your all of your leadership skills and make people food. Your food source is just out of reach. Okay, we gotta build out to the crops so we can have food. As the team that called themselves the Voyagers stood under a small shelter in the middle of the ocean with no access to their food, they just had to hope that they wouldn't starve before the acid rain ended. Back at the island of Sexy Nepal, one of their members called the Potato Guy acted quickly when the acid rain kicked in and was luckily able to grab a few potatoes to take with him underground, which even though almost killed him, allowed him to start providing food for their team. I managed to get some potato from the farm. We can continue farming peoples. I have started a potato farm in this rock. Potatoes will be growing well. And somehow, this small farm actually worked well and was able to start healing up the members of Sexy Nepal that had almost died to the acid rain. As for the other civilizations, some of them found this phase hilarious, as they had actually already set up a small area underground, which meant the acid rain didn't affect them at all. Spicy rain. Oh, hey. <laughs> But for the players that had been on the surface, this phase caused them to form new groups underground as they lost their teammates during the chaos. And one of those groups that came together called themselves the Mole Kingdom and planned to live underground for the rest of the event after the acid rain had forced them all to go underground. Yeah, we should just probably like make it like a small underground civilization. Yeah, yeah. Sounds, sounds like a plan. So instead of going back to the surface, they started working on making themselves sustainable down below by planting trees for wood, making kelp farms to save them from hunger, and continuing to grow in size as more players found this team when mining. May I join you guys? Up there it's chaos. And as more players started to join the Mole Kingdom, their original few members started to get worried that they were going to be assassinated by some of the new members after this team had grown much bigger than they anticipated. This is getting intense. This is getting really intense. Um, I need you to be my second hand in control. If I get executed okay. or assassinated, I want you to be in charge. If if I die, if I die, yeah. he takes the crown of Mole King. Okay. And the Mole Kingdom weren't the first team to start worrying about assassinations, as back in Sexy Nepal, one of their members died in the mines under some very suspicious circumstances. I was strip mining and I came out here and he was dead! What do you mean? How did he die? I don't know. Someone doesn't just, you know, die. The other guy was the only one I saw out here. As predicted, Alinak was murdered by a member of their team for his resources, and somehow, the murderer got away with it as he fled the scene before anyone caught him. But the members of Sexy Nepal were still very suspicious of how he died. I still feel like Alinak was murdered. That's a weird way just to drop it like that. Back up on the surface though, the rest of Sexy Nepal were trying their best to build shelter over their farm to help feed their members without dying to the acid rain. We gotta get this down to our people, because most of them are underground. And try to plant more in the stuff that we already have covered. After the majority of players had survived through the acid rain phase, it finally came to an end, allowing the survivors that were almost dying of hunger to rush out and finally harvest their farms to stay alive. <gasps> Rain's gone. Now, each civilization had an hour to work together to build up their island as much as possible. Guys, it's oh, a we building just competition. It Start building. Perfect. At the end of this phase, each island would be judged, and the best-looking island would be given a reward for their builds. So each civilization started trying their hardest to upgrade their island as much as possible to win. But there was one more civilization that I haven't mentioned yet. This one. The Wumpus Island. This group of players had no choice but to go off the grid straight away to avoid everyone else at the start, because they had the most wanted player on the server in charge of their team. That person was Aerocon. The player known in my events for brutally killing people and having no emotion when it comes to battle was wanted dead by everyone on the server after they all assumed his plan was to eliminate every island one by one. If PvP section is next, Error may come straight. Uh, yeah, so knowing Error, he's gonna come after us instantly. But this time, that wasn't the case. Error actually wanted to be peaceful in this event. I don't want to kill innocent people. If they don't want to attack us, then yeah. But like, I'm just small. So boring, though, Aero. I thought Aero used to be fun. What is this? Bro, I have to be calm for this one. I have to be a little more 
peaceful. Well, were... Errol made it clear to his team from the start that they weren't going to attack any other civilizations and would only be hostile if they were attacked. But Aero knew he was wanted by everyone, and was on edge from the start of this event as he was even scared of being assassinated by his own team. I have slight suspicion that Mighty Meta might try to slaughter me, just a second. Which one? The one. guy right there. I got this. Um... Hello, mister. Hi. Go I'm away. Well, Alfie! <laughs> Alfie! There you go. You told me <laughs> that you were it. sus that he was gonna kill you, so I killed him. No, no, he was really suspicious, but I, I didn't... Um... I feel like that's a little brutal. Nice savior. It's fine. Bad. What was brutal? Oh, no. uh, yeah. Nothing. We did nothing. So his team's attempt to be peaceful didn't exactly start well. But Aero wasn't going to be influenced by his teammates' choices and wanted to build the Wumpus Island into something great. And luckily, they had recruited the perfect players for it. Wait, we need to build an actual civilization. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just that's actually right. a nice line. Who here is good at building? Uh, I, um... I'm a builder. I'm a I, I, if you guys can get me some locks as well, that would be great. So with murder off their minds for now, the Wumpus Island started to work together, gathering resources for their builder to start working on a masterpiece. And players in the smaller groups realized at this point that they were going to struggle to compete against the bigger civilizations that had way more players to help with building. So one group took their chances and decided to approach Sexy Nepal to see if they could join their team and work together. We're friendly. Hey, hello, yeah. friends. Yeah, okay, I love okay, friendly. I'll, I'll you said y'all wanted to join up? Um, yeah. We're, we're okay. thinking you join us, we join you, we don't really mind. We can make we, the we, alliance we, between we, Sexy Nepal and the Block Gang. Yes, sir. I All like right. the sound I of that. You tell them. The wow dude agreed with the leader of the Block Gang to join forces and work together. But their members had one condition before they wanted to make it official. If we're gonna merge, I feel like we should call it Sexy Nepal Gang. Like. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, th I think it would be kind of funny if the name just kept getting longer and longer. So with an extra 15 players added to the now called Sexy Nepal Gang, this team started working on building up walls around the shore to prevent enemy civilizations from launching an attack on this island, whilst others had gone underground and started gathering resources. Wow, mining is so cool. Oh my god. I want to find at least one diamond and I will be happy. <gasps> oh, yes. Diamonds! And Sexy Nepal weren't the only team making progress, as over at the new Slavic Empire's island, when the building competition was announced, they got straight to work and started building. Yeah, 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 terraform this. Hell yeah, brother. Back over at the Voyager's island, they had barely survived the acid rain, and now started taking this phase very seriously as they needed the reward more than anyone else with such a small team. So after assigning roles to their members and working together well, they slowly built up this small platform into a base with houses, towers, farms, and walls to keep the Voyager civilization safe as things started heating up between other civilizations. And another team keeping out of trouble was the Mole Kingdom. After setting up underground, they found this phase more challenging than others. With limited resources and limited space to build, they tried their best to make something cool, but obviously, we were going to struggle. Oh, tree! Tree, 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 tree. Damn, this place is coming along. Jeez. After some time had passed, they realized they weren't going to win this competition, so decided to put their efforts from now on into something else. Everybody will be on mining from now on as our duty because we are quite weak as a nation. Not weak, but poor is what I mean. And this wasn't the only team that had given up with building, since back at the island of Sexy Nepal, another team had approached them looking to join their civilization since they knew they weren't going to win this competition alone. And as word broke out that Nepal were taking people in, more people kept showing up asking to join. So what happened is uh, three more teams joined us, so we're actually huge now. As expected, this island started to get very chaotic with the large amounts of players that kept arriving asking to join, which caused some of the original members to actually debate leaving. What is happening? Should we should we go? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Seems to be a bit chaotic at the moment. Yeah, I don't, don't really like chaotic teams, to be honest. Yeah. Should we go to separate island or? I think that we'd just need to get some saplings and then we can go. I know an island, yeah. so we could go there. Since there was too many people to even keep count of, players stopped working as a team and started focusing on themselves instead of sharing resources. Oh, no way. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my freaking god. If I do pants seven and have four so I can craft like boots, I guess 
or I can save for enchantment table. Ah, who cares? Who cares? I mean, who going to think about the team? You see me? So without realizing, the section of Paul Gang was starting to fall apart slowly as the original members weren't so happy about all of the new people. And despite having by far the largest population on the entire server, their island wasn't making much progress with builds. Especially when instead of giving out instructions, their leader was singing to a crowd of people. I'm going to do something very special for all y'all. Who is the pyromaniac? That would be Jenna. If I... Jenna? <laughs> oh, Jenna. Who's Jenna? Hi. Hi, uh, Jen. Jen. Me. Follow me. I need you to yeah. put you on fire. Alright. With no real order in this team anymore, Sexy Nepal's main threat was starting to become themselves. This seems like chaos. I know when he's really... no. Whoa, Soviet why do you do that? Who did that? Why are you doing that? Don't do it, don't do it. So after coming to the realization that their island probably wasn't going to get a reward for their builds. Are you, uh, are you feeling confident for the build? Build challenge? Mm -hmm. Not really. Sexy Nepal started to come up with a plan to take down the other civilizations from the inside, as they started sending out players to join other teams undercover to see if they could sabotage their builds to help them win. And one of the teams that they wanted to breach was the Wumpus Island, that had made some great progress since the start of this phase. Oh my god. Like... <laughs> Holy f Damn, this looks insane. Thank you. Uh, we're still finishing up the roof. But even though the Wumpus Island were trying their best to keep peaceful with other civilizations, some members on this team were not helping as they went off on their own and started killing the leaders of the other civilizations. So I have a bit of an announcement. I just assassinated the, the president of the last island over there. With players already starting to act out on this team, Aero, their leader, started to become scared that the players going against his orders were going to betray him at some point. They might try to kill me. Okay, I got this. No, don't kill me. Don't kill me yet. I'll feed. No. And even worse for them, as they were worried about members of their team planning to kill their own leader, that's when Kane, the second in command at Sexy Nepal, had finally arrived at the coast of the Wumpus Island in the hopes of joining their team undercover and sabotaging them from the inside. Your boys, oh, bro. Sexy Nepal. Like, like they random. They picked some random because they thought their name looked cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Nepal. No, it's actually so stupid. Wait. So after telling a somewhat believable lie about why he left Nepal, Kane was welcomed onto the Wumpus Island and straight away started feeding information back to the Wow Dude at his island. Um, he says oh, there's dude. about 20 to 30 of them. We should raid and like yes. only try to kill Arrow. And Kane was quickly forgot about as a few members of the Wumpus Island that weren't too happy about Arrow's new peace rules started grouping up and talking behind his back. Hi. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. What are you guys Hi. planning here? What are you guys talking hello. about here? What? Are we not allowed to have a chat? Meta. No, no, I'm just curious. I don't trust it at all. So as Kane stood around listening in on conversations and feeding information back to his team at the island of Sexy Nepal, he was waiting for the perfect time to start his sabotage and set fire to the wooden builds of the Wumpus Island to ruin their chances of winning the build competition. But it seemed back at Sexy Nepal, they were about to have bigger problems than losing a build competition, as it seemed they had some players undercover in their team too. Yukahara? Yes, sir. I know you're a traitor. What? I know you're not working with us. I've seen the DMs. As it seemed Sexy Nepal and the Wumpus Island were falling apart, one civilization had been making really good progress this entire time, and that was the new Slavic Empire. Oh, I'm loving what's happening up here. I'm loving this. Whilst the other civilizations had been dealing with the chaos of betrayals and overpopulation, the new Slavic Empire had been working on huge tree houses, statues, and farms without any issues, and were even able to expand their team during this phase as the voyagers from earlier approached them in the hopes of an alliance. Hey, how's it going? We want to, we want to kind of just have an alliance with you guys. Okay, okay. Well, let's sign it. Uh, you have a torch, torch of wisdom. And the voyagers weren't the only players that wanted to team up with the Slavic Empire, as the underground group of players that were brand new to my events were approached by Common Hat, who also wanted to join forces. Hello. Yeah. Hello, hello. So uh, I, I heard you're the team oh, of like underground, right? Yeah. You could say that. Would you like? Would you like? Would you like to join our blossoming okay, new Slavic Empire? Like, look at the statue. It's Dude, blossoming. that is a statue and a half right there. After agreeing to work together, 
it snooped was insistent that his rule from the start would not be broken. Let's not stab each other in the back. That's my one condition, all right? The new Slavic Empire does not stab its allies in the back. We are an honor-bound culture. Hey, I'm We're communist. Real life. I'm trusting you out here. So as the underground civilization joined the new Slavic Empire, their first few minutes on the island didn't go as planned, as the island building phase was put on hold, with each civilization now having to face a shark attack. Shark attack, get out of the water, get out of the water, get out, get out of the water, shark attack, shark attack, run, 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 run. These damn sharks, why are they everywhere? That's really sharks. For the players out in the open ocean, this phase was going to be rough, so some players started taking cover in random bases before they were swarmed by the sharks. Oh no, 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 right, 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 right. Oh my god, there's loads of them, there's loads of them. Run, run, run. Oh my god. Run. <laughs> Island, this is. And with each civilization being forced to stay on their land, this was the perfect time for them to finish off their builds. But somehow, the sharks still managed to get to them. Okay, why well, uh, how are the buildings looking right now? Uh, well, we have one house, we have three docks, so it kind of looks like a five list island at the moment. Oh my, oh my, yeah. why, 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 why? Ah! Oh my, ah! <laughs> god! Oh my god! I'm bleeding. But for the teams that had built walls like the Slavic Empire, they wasted no time. We got, a, we got 15 minutes to finish builds. Come on, boys, we got this. There's, a, there's an Among Us statue. Why? <laughs> oh, Why? No. You know no, 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 keep it. It's funny. So as the rest of the survivors stayed away from the waters and avoided the sharks, they made their last changes as the island building phase came to an end. This place is looking pretty nice. Now, it was up to me to visit each civilization and judge their builds to figure out which would be given a reward. So, I started with the new Slavic Empire. Oh, he's there! He's there! He's there! So this is where it all started. This is the podium. This is where I was This is where I was elected. This is our farm. This is where I make the cookies and stuff. Over here is a... It's a shack. I don't know. Oh, this guy's doing free cookies again. We have this thing? Question oh. mark? Oh, what is... Uh, it's modern art. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, and the last thing, our tree base. That's about it. And the Amoga statue over there. Oh, no. You've lost points. That has lost you points. That has lost points. Okay. <laughs> Quickly go destroy the Amoga statue. Next, I visited the Wumpus Island. The team that had attempted to build their civilization upon peace had actually come together to build a great-looking island with docks, farms, and houses for their citizens to live in, giving them a great opportunity to win the competition after Kane had been uns successful in his attempt to sabotage them. After that was the island of the sexy Nepal gang that had taken an interesting approach to the building competition. Where? Where? <laughs> Come with me. Okay, make it quick, make it quick. I got two minutes fifty to do this. Oh, nice! <laughs> nice! This is, place. this is getting a lot of blurs right now, but this is great. With not much else on their island apart from a tower, a dock and a podium, Clearly, Sexy Nepal hadn't put much effort into their builds, which was also the case with the Pickle Empire, that had spent almost the entire event up to now worshipping a pickle. Oh. Yeah. Alright, uh, this is our this is our god, Mr. Pickle. He's okay. our lord and savior. Apart from that, these guys didn't really have much else, with only some super basic houses and just a messy island in general. Meaning once all of the islands had been judged, it looked like the Wumpus Island was going to take victory, despite someone having literally joined their team with the one job of burning down their island so they couldn't win. But before they were given their reward, the Slavic Empire were begging me to visit their island one more time. Why are you guys Look, spamming? It's a shrine. It's a shrine. Oh. Oh, hell no. Just for you. <laughs> we made this so the box we had. After building my face on their island, the Slavic Empire were awarded one extra point, which put them level with the Wumpus Island, meaning they both now had a decision to make. Hello. You are joined by your team, and I am here to tell you that you are joint first in the island building phase. Let's go. Nice. Um, for your team, you are allowed to choose one item. Okay, should we take another block or enchants? Because, um, yeah. both are. Enchants, yeah. Sure. I said enchants, enchant. everyone can use it. Enchant. But can we have an enchant table, please? Yeah, enchants. Yes, you can. Yay! Yeah. Let's go. And after the Wumpus Island picked an enchantment table, the Slavic Empire followed in their steps and also chose to receive an enchantment table for their builds. 
Okay, so I've, I've received news from Reese, and we have achieved first and second place because hey. we were tied with Arrow's team. Hey. Yes! Oh. So as each of the winning civilizations started to celebrate their victory by enchanting their armor and tools, Start enchanting, right. boys. word broke out to the other civilizations that they had lost. Oh, oh God! Arrow's team got it. Arrow's team got it. Oh, <sighs> Slavic Empire. The Slavic Empire! But things were only going to get worse as the island voting phase came to an end. Oh no. Tsunami? Oh wait, Tsunami. Go, go, go. Oh my god! Tsunami, uh, Tsunami, go, 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 run. I don't know, but I'm uh, terrified, I'm being quite honest. A huge tsunami was making its way through the map, ready to submerge everything in its path. And even the Mole Kingdom that had stayed underground this entire time weren't safe as their base started to flood. Oh, for God's sake, water! Everybody mining, stop mining, we have we're to go. We have to I, go. I, thought, I think we're, we're safe, safe on the ground. Oh! oh. We gone we're dead. We're dead. What's happened? What's happened? Tsunami! Wait, has the underground been flooded? The underground's yes. been flooded, the mold has been lost. No! Back at the other islands, they all took to high ground as their progress was being washed away beneath them. All the crops! And amongst the chaos, some players started to die as they drowned in the waters below or fell from the trees as they tried to escape the waves by taking the high ground. We Wax lost man! One. No! 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 Dude, what are they doing down there, bro? What are they doing? As they thought things couldn't get any worse, their bases were now being taken over by sharks that were able to swim over their walls into their bases. No! He just died. Shark! Shark, 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 shark! There's a shark, careful. One civilization started to crumble more than others during this phase, and that was the Wampus Island. I oh, okay. No, 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 go down, go down, go oh. down. Tsunami, everyone underground, everyone oh, underground everyone right now. Everyone underground, go down, go down, go down, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, sh**, get to the high ground, get don't go underground. Go, 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 go. Yeah, everyone go up, everyone go, go up. up. Go up, go up, go up. Build a staircase. As their members started to take cover above the trees, Kane saw this as the perfect opportunity to set fire to their houses. Uh, guys, guys, the house is on fire. And things got even worse for this civilization as the players that they'd been suspicious of earlier murdered one of their teammates during the chaos for no reason. Yeah, well, oh, he's dead. Wait, he died, he died. No, he died. Wait, they killed him, they killed him, they killed him. Okay. Yep, they killed him. Okay, nah. No, me, I'm just screaming that thing was on fire. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, wait. Oh, didn't. Good job. Oh. Wait, who are we killing, Arrow? Uh, who are we killing? Well, we killed that one that was swift, him. With a civil war starting to break out, Kane realized the only way he was getting out of here alive was by escaping. So, hopped in his boat and headed into the distance as the Wumpus Island killed as many of the traitors as they could before checking out the damage of their builds. Viro's house. Oh no. No. Oh. <laughs> they burned down my home. Yeah, sorry, Viro. We could not prevent that. So, apart from the Slavic Empire that had built a tree house way above the ocean, the tsunami phase had submerged almost everyone's island entirely. Meaning, as the waves stopped and this phase came to an end, they had to wait for the water to drain. Everything we to work towards is gone. Wait, does this mean I have to rebuild again? Back at what used to be the island of Sexy Nepal. Players started to get worried for Kane as they hadn't heard from him in a while. Is there any info on Kane? Is he still good? Um, I'll check in on. Cause our spies got be killed. But as they started to question where he was, he had successfully escaped the Wumpus Island and could see his old island in the distance, or at least what used to be an island. What the f is this? I am back, boys. I've come back from the mission. You guys, I'm a god. Yo. Their team is in shambles, by the way. As Kane explained everything that happened during his mission, one of the traitors at the Wumpus Island decided to return, which of course was a horrible idea. This time could be even, 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 the even, island. Even, arrow, arrow, even. Where do you what, want to go? You burned right. down my home! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what exactly you've done. So as their chase for the traitor started, they traveled far, far away from their island as even tried his best to escape and led them all the way back to the island of Sexy Nepal to try and cause a distraction. But as Aero approached Sexy Nepal, word quickly broke out that he had arrived, which sent the entire team into panic as they thought he was here to attack. 
I'll throw you there. Arrows okay, but guys, go, 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 actually go. It's arrows. Arrows here. We're not here to fight. We're not here to fight. It's war. As Arrow tried his best to explain to Sexy Nepal that he wasn't trying to attack them, he was inches away from killing the traitor before he was swarmed by sharks, allowing the traitor to get away. Shark! Hey, Byro, can you oh, assist boy, me here? Man. Can you assist me? <laughs> get him off me! <laughs> After the sharks had been dealt with, the members of Sexy Nepal had all taken cover above their island as Arrow peacefully approached them and explained why he was here. Okay, everybody stop. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Yeah, guys, everybody stop. Shut up, shut up, shut up. All right, shut up. We're... Y'all stay over here. I'm just gonna go chat with my buddy Arrow, okay? Okay, come here, come hey, here. Arrow. All right, so pretty much, we're chasing a traitor in our nation, Arrow. that Evan guy, and you guys kinda... Yeah, I don't know. He got the spear yeah. now. After sticking to their words and keeping peaceful, the Wumpus Island and Sexy Nepal formed an alliance together, which it seemed some players in Sexy Nepal weren't too happy about since they had agreed since the start that they were going to kill Arrow when they had the chance. Dude, Doran, this team fell apart completely. Um, there's going to be a fight soon, either within the teams, but it's just chaos and we kind of need to leave with a small team. So as Sexy Nepal split up, these players escaped to another island and started to come up with a new plan to take down Aerocon. Who, who is ready to murder some kids? Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! Uh, yeah. Alright, let's go! But after realizing their small group wouldn't be able to do this alone, they headed back out into the open ocean and started gathering players from every team that were willing to help them in their attempt to kill Aero. And whilst they were busy visiting as many islands as they could, the members of the Wumpus Island had once again gone against Aero's peace promise, as they stopped by the new Slavic Empire on their way home from Sexy Nepal and started murdering their members for no reason as Aero stood there in shock. Hello. Oh, wait, yeah, what? Oh, uh, Scraps what? just murdering them. Wait, bro. Oh, sicko. Oh, well, there we go. That's, that's brutal. Hey, are you guys meant to be here? Uh, no, no, we no, came here and we kind of just murdered your team. Oh, what? Oh, run, what? run. After the rest of the new Slavic Empire arrived, hoping to take back their land and get revenge against the Wumpus civilization for their murders, they stood no chance against these warriors, as they were destroyed in the waters around their own base. Uh, wait, arrow, 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 arrow. Let's, Hello. let's Jump out. Oh, well, I, I would talk, but it's kind of too late. My team already wants you dead, so, um... Wait, uh, wait, uh, actually. Uh, yeah. well. There he is. I got him. As Common Hat died, the Slavic Empire had officially crumbled after a great attempt at building up a civilization in this event. And as the deaths of these players were announced in chat, the group that had been growing in the hopes of attacking Aero knew exactly where he was, so gathered their entire force, which was now the largest group on the server, as Kane stood before them all and gave out a speech to prepare them for battle. Brothers, Aero has suppressed us. Aero has killed our brothers and friends, our sons and daughters. Today, that will be no more. Today, we will kill Aero-kun and bring salvation to these seas. Yay! Yay! With this entire army ready to fight, they all got in their boats and headed towards the old Slavic Empire with murder on their minds. Oh my god, wait, we literally have an this army just to kill one man. Charge! Kill them all! As this huge group charged towards the island, they were spotted. Oh, 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 Aero ordered his entire team to fall back to the Wumpus Island, and once they had arrived, they just had to defend the shores from the onslaught that was incoming. Hold the shore. Oh, are we fighting? fighting? We're fighting? Hold yeah, the shore. If, if we are die, we, we die in our homeland. That's we're fighting. Saying. As the attackers arrived, the fight started, and they quickly realized how bad of a mistake they had made as the Wumpus Island players were starting to destroy them. Yukahara's dead! <laughs> Torn! God damn it. As the battle went on, some players even started making their way over from Sexy Nepal to try and take down the Wumpus civilization. But after what seemed to be a quick battle against a force more than three times their size, the Wumpus Island stood strong on their coast, with their entire team still alive, as they had somehow taken out all of their attackers, meaning they were able to start rebuilding this island back to what it once was, with no threats from any other players. Let's actually rebuild this now. 
Well, guys, if you want to really help rebuild it, let's try and get that stone down from there. But the Wumpus Island was not the last one remaining, since up in a treehouse way above the surface of any island was a player called Aruko that had left Sexy Nepal with the potato guy earlier on, and had been building his own treehouse civilization away from everyone else this entire time. So as they lived happily up this tree, these two final civilizations decided to live alongside each other in peace, as the other teams had made an awful judgement about the Wumpus Island, which eventually led to their own downfall. But after defending their island against 200 survivors, the Wumpus Island would soon have to face new challenges, as I put 300 players on a survival island in hardcore Minecraft. And as they all spawned in, players rushed to the nearby trees and tried their best to make boats to escape the chaos, as players already started killing each other. Oh wow, I just, I just witnessed a murder. But that's thunder, they're killing people over there, dude. With players already starting to die, others quickly got into boats and escaped this island as they spotted new islands in the distance. I'm getting a boat and I'm leaving. As they arrived on the coast of these new islands, they started making progress by mining stone to upgrade their tools and finding other survivors to group up with to increase their chance of survival as players back at the spawn continued to die. Oh, we found this guy over here. Yo, rip guy, rip guy. Yo, well, let's go. Let's go somewhere. Yo. You guys want to group up? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, let's go. Now that they had escaped from the chaos, survivors started exploring the map and were able to find structures on these islands, giving a few of them immediate access to food and a few extra resources that would be helpful for them on their adventure. But as some of the survivors went off alone, they started to realize they had a big problem, as there was one thing limiting their progress, the role system. When joining the server, each player was assigned one of three roles that would be crucial to their survival within this event. Players with the armorer role were the only ones able to craft armor, whilst farmers were the only ones able to farm crops to feed their civilizations. But finally was the miner role, which gave only certain players the ability to mine ores. With this in mind, players started to group up as they realized they had no option but to work together if they wanted to make progress in the event. So as players started to group up all over the map, they started looking for players with the roles that they were missing in their groups as they approached other survivors. Are you guys both miners? No, I'm, oh, no, I am armor, he minor. We're oh, okay. Oh, we, we are just armorers. <laughs> <laughs> Same. It's very sad. Very sad of an existence. Is this man to mine for us? Are you a farmer? No, I'm not a farmer. I'm a armor. God damn it. Why is everybody in armor? It, it doesn't make no sense. As players struggled to find at least one person with each role, Others started to plan on taking advantage of the role system by eliminating all of the farmers, meaning the entire server would have to rely on them for food, giving them ultimate power over the survivors. Boss, if we if we kill off all the farmers, oh my god, <laughs> that might be. Fun. God, we need to kill off all the farmers one by one, take them off the board. But their idea quickly fell apart as Pure Fudge died only moments later. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, no, why did Fudge die? He really wanted to be a bad guy this game. Oh. As their plan failed, other groups all over the map started to come up with different ways to make sure that they had all of the roles they needed. As they started looking for a farmer to kidnap. Is any of you a farmer or no? I'm assuming you guys are not. None no, we, we still need a farmer. I, I think like we'll find someone hopefully soon. Hello, are you a farmer? Yo, I... Are you a farmer? Are you a farmer? Yeah, I'm a farmer. Oh, we got a farmer. We got a farmer. farmer. We gotta go, 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 go back. Go we back. got a farmer. We got a farmer. What, you just gotta kidnap me? Yes. Yes. Oh. We need a farmer real bad. Oh god, we're kidnapping you. I'm sorry. We need you. <laughs> As these guys kidnapped a player, other survivors that had started setting up on the coast of other islands found people that they were missing much more peacefully as they join forces with a nearby group of survivors. We really just don't get an armor. Fair Sick, enough. yeah, no weapons for us, wow. nothing. Hey, uh, guys, uh, guys, do you have an armor? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes! Yes! yes. All right, nice, well, nice, can nice. Unite? Can yes. we unite into one group? Yes, yes, yes. Now, with small civilizations starting to form all over, there was one group of players once again that I hadn't mentioned yet, that had spawned on the complete other side of the map away from everyone else and that was the players of the Wumpus Island. In the previous edition of this video, these players worked together to take down hundreds of people that were trying their best to wrongfully destroy their civilization, after their leader, Aerokun, had developed a bad reputation in previous events. But now, after winning over the hearts of millions of viewers, they were back once again to try their best to build up a thriving civilization on these islands. 
And since they spawned so far away from the other survivors, this gave them a huge head start as they were able to easily communicate with their members without having to fight for nearby resources. I'm minor, I'm minor. Yeah, I'm minor. Yeah, I'm minor. Yeah, I'm minor. Yeah, I'm minor. Nice. Have we got, have we got one armor? <laughs> So I can make you guys oh, wait, your armor? Yeah. Okay, that's f great. Okay. After quickly realizing they had one of each role on their team, they were able to instantly start making progress as their miners started searching for resources, and their farmers set up a farm on the coast ready to feed their civilization. But being away from the other survivors also came with other benefits, as they could easily start exploring the nearby islands without having to worry about other survivors attacking them. Oh, I see some two caves over there. I'm gonna go across the water. Alright, well, just be careful in case there are any sharks or something. Once their miners went out exploring, they quickly realized that these islands were covered with rocks that contained ores inside, which would save them so much time with mining. Building I saw so many rocks with diamonds. Why are you guys mining, bro? Rocks have more diamonds. With this in mind, they sent a few of their players off their island as they started mining all of the resources that they could find in these rocks. But, as expected, not long after they ventured out, Aero, their leader, was spotted by survivors that weren't a part of his civilization, and almost instantly had a target put on his back. Guys, I spotted yeah. Aero Kun over there. He have a diamond sword. Maybe no we, can, we should kill him for diamond sword or not? We need to kill him. Aero. We try to kill him? Yeah, they're trying to kill him. As one of Aero's teammates overheard these survivors plotting to already kill him, he was quickly told about their plans. Aero, you've got people who want to kill you for your diamond swords. To make sure that Aero wasn't killed by those survivors that were already plotting against him, the members of the Wumpus Island worked together to point out the rocks to their miners to get as many ores as they could, to help armor up their civilization as quickly as possible, as it seemed they had already found themselves some enemies. But as they continued mining all of the rocks, they weren't the only ones that had found out about these ores, as another group also realized and started calling out the rock locations to their miner to make sure that they were able to take full advantage of the exposed ores as well. Oh, wait, yeah, there, there, there might, be, be, might be ores here. There should be ores at least. There's iron right when there. There's iron. iron. Over here, uh, miner, there's a diamond over there. And as they continued to explore, they spotted an island in the distance that they thought was perfect for their team to start setting up camp at. So headed over. Wait, this, that, that island cross, across. You see that one? I think that one's like the perfect size because it looks like it rounds off. Yeah, yeah, we're going to flatten this island first and then keep going from there. After they started converting this island into their camp, players spotted them from afar and approached them as they looked for a place to live. You want to join the team? You're allowed to, what, what, what's your role? What's your role, Miggy? I'm okay. a farmer. Okay. Oh, dude, we have so many goddamn farmers. Jesus. No matter how many players approached this island, it seemed almost impossible for them to find somebody with the minor role. What, what's your role, by the way? Uh, TV, TV. What's your role? Uh, armor. Ah, oh, crikey. We need more miners. <laughs> Eventually, after accepting over 10 more players into their civilization, a group of four more approached their island and finally gave them what they were looking for. Oh, what, what, are rules? what are your rules? What are your rules? Mine is minor. Farmer. Hallelujah, what's yours? Farmer? Now that this island had at least one player with each role, they were able to start making some real progress, as Fuego Wave took leadership and officially named this place as Targon, as he gave out jobs to help them advance their civilization. Alright, so we have enough farmers, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get to mine and start strip mining so that we can find more ores. If that works oh, with you. Okay. As Fuego Wave sent out their only miner to gather resources for their whole team, this island was making great progress. But this wasn't the only group that was starting to form a real civilization, as a few players had come together and started setting up a camp on the coast of another island. I mean, Modern, do you reckon we stay on this island? It's an option. I kind of think it's... I think it's alright, because we got all the boys here, farm set up. Yeah. Uh, and there's... we got trees and stuff, so I think this is good to stay. But things were quickly going to change for the players that had set up on the coast, as the preparation phase came to an end and the shark attack phase had started. Careful, rise, rise, careful, bro. It's a shark, man. Shark. He's eyeing you up. Oh, actual? Look, look, look. <laughs> Heads look as well. thing. Sharks had now taken over the ocean, meaning if anyone went out swimming, they'd quickly be swarmed and killed by the sharks, causing almost everyone near the coast to pack up their belongings and move inland to take cover for the rest of this phase. Oh man, guys, shark, run. On land, run. shark on run. the left, on the land. No. what do you mean? <laughs> but as some players joked about the sharks, it seemed others just assumed they wouldn't be attacked, as they continued working on building right next to the water, which obviously wasn't a good idea. 
over at the Wumpus Island, one of their players that had been left behind to work on their farm also thought he was strong enough to take down two sharks all alone. Oh, God. Oh. Monkey. Oh, don't. Oh, my God. Don't monkey, don't get near it. Yeah, try and get it off of the land. No, don't oh, jump into the water. Oh, God. He's dead. Oh, my God. Owie. Now, as the rest of the Wumpus civilization stayed away from the water, the miners and armorers that headed out earlier were stranded on the islands that they had visited as they didn't want to risk traveling over the ocean during this phase. Shark, Shark attack. attack. Right, let's not go back to our base. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But being stranded on this island gave them even more time to find rocks and mine ores, meaning by the end of the shark attack phase, they had destroyed almost every single rock on this island, giving them enough resources to cover their entire team in armor. And now, with another five minutes left of the shark attack phase, they had the freedom of exploring this island as they knew they were most likely the strongest players on the entire server. And as they headed north of this island, they spotted the island of Targon in the distance. Wait, wait, there's a base. Wait, whose village do you think is that? Yeah, oh. wait, there's there's people on that, like, next to us, kind of, so be oh. careful. Wait, well, right, we can't kill people. We're, we're a peaceful nation. Table, we're a peaceful like nation. Are we, are we? No, I'm not having a repeat of what happened last time. <laughs> Instead of approaching the island of Targon, the members of the Wumpus Island started making their way back towards their own island to allow them to stay unknown as they now knew the location of another civilization. Yeah, probably a great Arrow, what happened to you mass murdering groups of like 78 million people, bro? Uh, I'm peaceful. We're trying to keep a positive re reputation. Yeah. Now, as the rest of the survivors on the server stayed away from the ocean, the shark attack phase finally came to an end, having only claimed two lives, meaning players were now able to safely swim through the waters around their islands once again. But with the shark attack phase ending, meant the election phase had now started, giving each group 15 minutes to elect a king or queen to rule their civilization. Election. <laughs> Me, dibs. <laughs> That's how it works, no? Without wasting any time, a group of players that called themselves the Shroom Nation elected Not Terry as their king, as he fairly called dibs as the election phase started, whilst some other bigger groups took this time to properly set up podiums for their candidates to give out speeches. But as expected, with so many players in the larger groups, it wasn't going to be easy to get everyone to listen. Ladies and gentlemen! Oh my god, this is a mess. I'm doing my speech. Sit down, sit down. Okay, I'm doing my okay, speech. Okay. Doing my hey, hey. All right. Listen, I'm a farmer. I reckon I'd be a good leader because I've got bread and I can bribe you with that. Bread. Um, I can get you fed up. Bread. And what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 As a player called Vise bribed his way through the election with bread, somehow he was promoted to be the king of these people and quickly named them as the Oma Oma Civilization as he instructed the players to start building up their base to give them a chance in the build competition later on. Start I building houses, the, build whatever, build whatever, whatever looks pretty. Yeah. Put on an armor, armor bath. Uh, right here, we're, we're settling right, right here. I, can, I, I cannot yeah, hear right you. Here. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Clutch. Next up was the Golden Kingdom. As the election phase was announced, a player called Luna grouped up all of the farmers in this civilization and asked for their help in blackmailing the rest of these players into voting for him or else their entire food source would leave the team. Alright, hey, hey, hey. I think, I think we win this election. I think we win this election. How, how are we feeling about that? You can literally just solve whatever. world hunger and everyone I can solve our world hunger. And his plan works perfectly. After hosting their election, these players realized without their farmers, they had no chance of survival. So Luna was promoted to be king, allowing him to start organizing their team by splitting them up into their roles and giving them each different jobs to help their civilization advance through this event. Yo, 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 yo. If you're an armor, if you're an armor, go on the diorite. If you're a farmer, go on the wood. If you're a miner, go on the lapis. We just need to organize everybody. There's a cave that, uh, like just right over there. You'll see it. If you guys all want to just start going mining because we need diamonds, just go in there, start slamming. Farmers, you're gonna help me do the moss farm. Armors, you're also gonna help because we have nothing right now. We have to wait for nice. them to get the stuff. As their miners were sent down into the caves, they started making progress. Whilst over at the Wumpus Island, their members were going to struggle with their election as half of their team was still missing from their adventure earlier on. No. Election. 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 Our leader is gone. Oh, oh, where is there? But as they realized it was the election phase, the missing players started making their way home as Aero made plans for their election. Okay, I guess we're having elections again, so uh, we should probably go back and just uh, 
you know, rig, rig them as always. <laughs> After discussing their plans to just straight up rig the election, on their way back, they wondered if their members would even still be alive after they had been gone for almost half an hour. I, I bet there's gonna be nobody left. They're all gonna be like gone. Uh, just don't kill. Well, people. then we elect Arrow. Yeah, that's that's no doubt either. Oh no, they're here. But this wasn't the case because since they had left, some players had actually approached this island looking for somewhere to live, meaning their population was almost twice as big as it was when they left. Hello there, sir. Hello. Hello there. We're, n we're not here to start anything, don't worry. Well, oh. We're just looking for teammates. So when they arrived back home, their members that had stayed behind couldn't believe how rich their group now was as they brought back all of the resources from their mining trip. Guys, we did some off-camera mining. What the... Well done, guys. How are you bit nether on? Now, with everyone back on their island, they set up a podium and turned this island into a dictatorship, as Aerokun was the only person allowed to run for king. Alright, all of you I know do, me. Do, do, do. I play in plenty of fast events, you all know me as a great leader. I'm surely not forcing guys to vote for me or you get killed, and nothing like that. Um, so yeah, vote for me and you'll have a, live a great life. <laughs> Alright, Aerokun's our king, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 who who would have so thought, thought that would happen? Yeah. Such oh an God. unexpected ending, uh, so much yeah, content. So with two minutes left of the election phase, these players started making jokes about the other civilizations. Aero started screaming like Fuego, it worked, like, it worked for him. And the best part was, they were right. I want this team to strive to build the best looking island and to defend ourselves from the enemies that wish us to be dead. Plus I have diamonds, so we can all have beautiful looking armor. Right. Fortagon! <laughs> After grouping up their entire team at their island cafe, Targon elected Fuego Wave as their leader after he once again shouted his way to victory, meaning now as the election phase came to an end, each civilization had selected their king of choice. And as the island building phase started, players now had 45 minutes to build up their civilization, with the best looking base eventually receiving a reward for their builds. We need to win. If we win, we could get an enchantment table. To give themselves the best chance at winning this build competition, some civilizations started to merge as they hoped to use their huge population to their advantage. What's good? What's good? Hey, What's you guys good? trying to combine nations, my dude? Yeah. You wanna give us a base tour real quick? This looks crazy. Yeah, yeah you can. You already know what's up here. The Tiki Hut! Yeah. We would be, we would be yeah. glad to join you guys, but we need well, we just want to remain. Fighters, we want to re remain independent. Oh, there's more people. Hey, 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 hello, guys. What's up? Chris? What's up? Yeah, it's Hello. Chris, the most famous man in the You nice. have the drip, bro. You have the drip. Abo, are, are you, are you guys joining our team? You guys yeah. joining our team? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on up. We're building... Damn, shit. this actually looks sick. And now, as Targon was easily the biggest civilization on the server, this didn't stop the smaller civilizations from still competing in the build competition. As a group that went by the Shroom Nation that were living on the coast of one of the jungle islands started working on building up this small base. And their civilization would soon start to grow in population as well, as a group of miners that had been cooped up underground since the start of this event finally decided to resurface after surviving down below on just mushroom stew for the last hour. I made a lot of mushroom stew. <laughs> oh god, dude, thank you. Yeah, we gotta live, man. Just... I'm not gonna die. Oh my, oh hunger. my, dude, how many mushrooms do you find? This is insane. Let's wrap it up and get out of here. We need more, we need a better place than this. Oh, I see a name tag behind us, name tag behind us. Dude, 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 there's people, there's people. Oh god. Right side, right side. It's a group. Oh, it's a group. They're building, they're building. Oh. Do you guys want to check them out? Oh, they don't see us. No, oh my god, this is awkward. Curve guys, two, look at cure us. two, cure two. As this group of miners approached the Shroom Nation cautiously, they were greeted by Terry, their leader. Oh, Dude, they have six people. Five, six. Okay, oh, what's it called? Okay, get in the boats. Let's try to go to them. If they say anything, here, get in the boats. Get in the boats. All right, all right. Oh god. Hello, we are peaceful. We're peaceful. We are peaceful. We are peaceful. I can believe you if you say one word in French. What? We yeah, forget. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. I mean, you're all coming join us if you wish. We're the Shroom Nation. <laughs> you sounded so unsure about that. Okay, <laughs> Not Terry. One, one, I one thing. graciously thank you for welcoming us, welcoming us to our to your group. Thank you. After basically stereotyping the entire French population by using baguette as their word of peace, 
These miners were accepted into the Shroom Nation, and wasted no time in helping out their new teammates, as Guardian Dark started giving out orders to the team that he had just joined, with the hopes of winning the build competition. Guys, give me a moment. <laughs> so we need, <laughs> we need somebody, we need like four people. Me. Two people get cobblestone, and two people get uh, wood, because we're gonna build Me. a wall. Oh, oh wood, I'm um, the best at that. This is actually really fun. I'm actually having such a good time. Oh my god, I'm so useful. I'm actually so useful. So as they started gathering resources to build up walls around their civilization, they assumed that their team was virtually unknown to the outside world, as they had set up deep in land whilst everyone else had set up on the coasts. But this wasn't the case, as word of this civilization had made it all the way to Targon, as one of their members that had been out exploring had found them and reported back to their team. Uh, Where you go? Yeah, what's up? I also no, have some news. Alive. You know, you know the Kertov guy, the guy with the communism logo on his, uh, uh, yeah. on his body. Yeah. He has like a group of ten over there, over the mountain. Okay. Do they want to kill us or what? I'm not sure. I, I haven't talked to them. I so just saw like ten of them. We're in the island building. We have ten ish minutes. We need to start getting a wall built around. Do you think we have enough time for that? Oh. Uh, no, nah, 13 minutes is enough. Okay, for then, that. then, then all we need to do is just to make everybody get it. Honestly, if you can, I think we can. I want to push that time. Yeah, I got you. I think we definitely get a wall going. For some reason, the players of Targon assumed that the Shroom Nation could be hostile, so started working on building up walls around their island to keep possible attacks away. Meanwhile, over at the Oma Oma civilization, after they had sent out all of their miners into the caves earlier, they started working on ways to upgrade their civilization. Hey guys, I'm gonna need one more builder. I'm getting every I'm getting Zadamas over there to build a roof over the farm. So if we get acid rain, it's protected and also it's extra style points for the building. So somebody we're gonna need someone to go over and help. And the farm wasn't the only thing they built, as a few players had worked on smaller builds all around their camp. Welcome to the Sunken Forge. And here, you know, we got a little smelter right here, and you know, we got a little furnace here. So we're working progress. But despite their civilization actually making some great progress, they soon started to face some issues. Sammy, what are you doing, mate? Sammy. Boys. What happened here? Sammy literally just killed himself to the water. He bloody okay, drowned himself. Wait, what happened? He's, look, he's gone like this. And he just sat here in the corner and he's just drowned himself. He's just drowned himself. Oh. And as players in their civilization started killing themselves, they also faced another problem. Buddy, we oh. don't have any miners. All of our miners are gone. I don't know where. Wait, they're all dead? No, like they've they've gone off mining, but then they just haven't come back. Oh. I don't know where they are. Yeah. Whilst the players of this civilization worried for their miners that they hadn't seen for so long, it turned out they were fine and were actually having the time of their lives as they were out exploring the map looking for caves, but also may have got slightly distracted when they spotted a huge temple deep into the jungle. Yo, 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 yo. Um, yeah. huge temple. It doesn't look looted. Oh I mean. my god. Let's get, I'm going down oh, there. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You're going a little bit too quick there. <laughs> After finding this temple, they quickly realized that it had sadly been looted earlier on by a few other survivors. So they got back on track as they found a cave and were able to start mining for a load of resources. But since their group only had miners, they couldn't craft any armor or weapons with this loot. Yo, can you place down the crafting table? Uh, the crafting table's over here. We can't make armor, we don't have an armor with us. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay. Wait. Oh, you be right. I forgot. <laughs> God. So after grabbing all of the resources they needed, they headed back up to the surface to start making their way home. Or at least, that was the plan. Dude, I kinda wanna go like, search for a temple bro. That... It's very tempting, but we, we gotta go back. We got eight so minutes tempting, left. Bro. After somehow being convinced by Elucified, these miners decided to go on a world tour, as their entire civilization was waiting for them back at the base to return with all of the ores that they had gone out for almost an hour ago. And as they set off to further explore this crazy map, which you can also play via the link in the description, they managed to escape the jungle as they found themselves at the entrance to Targon. Wait. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah, I don't think we should be here. I don't, I don't think I don't... we should talk to them. Thinking they were about to be killed, these guys sat at the entrance quietly, but one of them decided he wanted to have a look inside. Where's he going? No, 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 no. <laughs> we're gonna get killed. Yo, so, I'm from a different civilization. I'm here to say because we are lost. We have no, we don't, we welcome, have welcome, no idea. Welcome, 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 welcome.
Go, get to work. Help people build. Help people build. Earn your okay. keep. What is going on? I, I don't Should know. We? Should we head back? I, I think because we got. Hold on. Wait, oh, right, hold on. Hold on. I don't know what's going on. I'm scared. I have no idea. No. We don't have another option. You guys want to head back to the mountain and travel the whole Iceland back to our home? Yes. I wanna know. I wanna know. Like, I have people back home, man. Yeah, we got a family. As it seemed, their four-man minor group was falling apart with Nordo wanting to stay here, as the others wanted to leave and head back home. They agreed to wait here until the next phase was announced. And this wasn't a bad idea, as this place had made some huge changes since the start of the island building phase, after building houses, a watchtower, and even a prison. Oh no, I've been imprisoned. Are you making my lift into a prison? Oh, it's a pr oh, it's not a prison? Cringe. It's a mine. Oh. Just put Fortnite prison on it and call it done. What, what happened to John Fortnite? Whoa. John Fortnite? No. <laughs> what happened? What'd you do? I'll break you I, out. Commit, I caused too much cringe. Ah, <laughs> I'm leaving. It seemed at this point that Targon had made the most progress during the island building phase, since the other civilizations like Oma Oma were still waiting around for their miners to return, which obviously didn't seem likely anytime soon. But whilst all of this had been happening over here, back at the Wumpus Island, Aero was working hard to keep his members busy building, as they were also trying their best to win the build competition. It seems like you guys got enslaved. <laughs> Bro, we're yeah. just we're doing our part because you know when you're on the Aero team you gotta you gotta, you gotta do your part, yeah. It seemed players on the Wumpus Island were just building out of fear for Aero rather than building with the hopes to win the build competition. Which over at the Golden Kingdom was the complete opposite, as they had a fully functioning nation formed on the coast of this island, that had been working together really well after Luna was promoted to king earlier on. This allowed their farmers and armourers to build up houses, stores, and even work on a treehouse, whilst their miners worked away underground to get resources for their team. Sup? <laughs> they call me the whole man. And unlike the miners from the Oma Oma civilization, after finding a bunch of diamonds and iron, these miners actually returned to their camp after they survived down below on nothing but rotten flesh. Like some kind of cave hermits living off rotten flesh. So as their miners resurfaced and shared out the loot, they were in a great position as the Golden Kingdom was one of the most organized civilizations of them all. But as some players on the server started to suspect, the island building phase was running out of time, which meant surviving in this event wouldn't be easy for much longer. Chug, what do you think is gonna happen now? Oh, Something's God. going to kill everybody. Something is going to happen, yeah. This I'll say, the what the hell say? And they were right. As the island building phase was put on hold, the plague had officially begun. Distance yourselves, someone has caught the plague. It said distance yourselves. Oh my God, what are they doing? Uh-oh. Uh, John, it might be better for you to be in there now. <laughs> the plague, ah! Oh, Dude, I'm going in the I'm going in the lighthouse. You guys do your thing. This quarantine zone. Ayo quarantine. Ayo quarantine. You know, you know the drill. This meant that one player on the server had been infected with the plague and would spread it to anyone within a five block radius, giving them symptoms that would only get worse over time, eventually leading to their deaths. Go back up, back up, back up. I'm running away from this place. As players distanced from each other to try and prevent themselves from catching the plague, a few of them soon realized that the plague had started at the island of Targon, as it spread between a few of their players. Let me cough on you. <coughs> Actually, you oh, she has the plague! Run! Without realizing, Nordo had already caught the plague, meaning as he ran away from Simon, he accidentally spread the virus to almost everyone on this island. Oh god, it's somebody in here. Who, 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 who? It's Simon? Simon was really I have the plague. Back up, back up, back up, back up. I have the plague. Oh, nice. Back up. I have the plague too. Back up. Wiggle. 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 Get away. Get away. I have the plague. I do too, I do too, I also have the plague. Players tried their best to avoid catching the plague by leaving Targon when this phase started, but those that stayed were soon infected as the virus had spread almost all over their island. Go. 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 Get in this house, in this house. This is the plague house. Stay, stay you. If you have the plague, come in. Get in, get in. 
If you have the play, come in here. If you have the play, come in here and just sit. Sit tight. We'll get through this. Hey, back up. Oh, we shit. have the play. Back the f up. Get the f away. Wait, wait, wait. Everyone out here already has it, mate. Oh, okay. Elemental gave it to me. It was a really try. And as the play continued to spread over here, word broke out to the other civilizations that Simon was the first player infected. Right. Apparently, Simon has the plague. Is Simon in first? No. The plague's Ele already... Um. Uh, Want to get in a boat? Sure. <laughs> all right, let's go. If one of us gets it, it's over. So, as players all over the map spread out, luckily for them, the plague hadn't left Targon yet. But over at the Golden Kingdom, they thought the plague had already made its way to their civilization, sending them into panic after Mosey Whitey had eaten some rotten flesh again, giving him the hunger effect. Oh, you're infected. Get it out of here. You should go. Like, Mazi, you should go. No idea, so just me. Get, like, go into the sea or something. You're infected. Mazi is infected. Actually. Yeah, li yeah, literally has particle effects no, over I there. Have any, I don't have any gear. Bro, bro, we have, we who have, even has it? Get out of here. Get out of here. Bro, it's not me. I don't even have the effect. After explaining from a distance that he had just eaten rotten flesh, their guard went down as they assumed no one in their civilization had the plague. All right, we're good. We don't have quarantine anymore. I'm, I'm not thinking we're yeah. No, no, wait, 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 wait. But once again, as expected, it wouldn't take long for the plague to spread from Targon to the other civilizations, especially as the group of miners that arrived here from the Oma Oma civilization earlier on now decided to leave Targon after they had just caught the plague. Uh, Sir, I have the plague. You have the plague? What? You have the... Don't, don't go... Oh, yeah, he does, he does. Don't come too close to us. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Don't come close to okay. us. I don't want to. Um, you can survive for five minutes, right? Yeah, you good. Yeah, yeah. Let's right, let's. We need to go back now. now. We need yeah. to go back right now. Now I have a play guy. I got you. <laughs> no, you <laughs> got me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> As the plague had now officially left Targon, it was announced in chat that 15 players were already infected, which gave some of the smaller civilizations hope as they knew it was impossible that their civilization had caught it. I don't even think we're 50 people, so we cannot have the plague, you know? After the parrots figured out that it was impossible for them to have the plague, they saw in chat that it quickly spread from 15 to 20 players, as everyone at Targon was now infected after they had completely given up trying to quarantine their members, and now had no option but to send people off their island to look for a cow. Hey, Fuego, I can go on an adventure right now to go get a cow that I left over. Go, 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 go. Luckily for them, they were able to quickly find a cow and get it onto their island, giving them access to milk to cure themselves of the plague. But as players were desperate to get their hands on a bucket, Getting a cow only caused them more problems. Hey, line up on this thing right here. Line up, line up. We go one by one. Line up, one by one. one. Just line up back on the, on the wood, on the wood. Line up on the wood. Even with milk now being accessible to these players, they continued to just reinfect themselves over and over, which caused Fuego Wave, their leader, to lose his mind as he tried to get his team in order. There's you guys are just reinfecting yourselves. Holy sh Get on the f***ing stairs and listen. I'm hey, about to start no, taking no, damage from this thing. Back the f*** and get on the stairs now. I need a chest. I'm going to get one chest and we're going to do this one by one. So after Fuego Wave explained his plan, they were able to make some progress as they went up one by one to cure themselves, keeping all of the infected players together whilst everyone else went to the other side of the island to make sure that they weren't reinfected. It's not hard. It's really easy to do this. I promise. Drink and now go put it back in and now leave. There you go. There you go. Get yours. Now put drink and put it in the chest. Look how easy this is. There, not next. But as always, some players struggle to understand this concept. It seemed almost impossible for them to cure their members at this point, whilst other civilizations were perfectly fine as they continued to social distance away from their teammates in case the plague came anywhere near them, which gave them some time to relax. Hang on, hang on, hang on, I'll pull this up. <laughs> What the f This is Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs>
Whilst these two enjoyed a nice disco out in the ocean away from their civilization, they'd soon have to return home as the island building phase restarted, giving each civilization another 20 minutes to finish off their builds. Let's continue building. Awesome, we've got plenty of time. That's yeah, awesome. That's Despite the island building phase carrying on, the plague was still active, meaning those that were still dealing with it couldn't make use of this time as they struggled to cure their members. All right, there, come over here. Okay. Next person, next. Holy, you're good. Holy, you're good. See, this is so easy if you I guys just listen. See, I can't Go, see, to your bro. right, to your right. Get away from me. Back up. Right there. Dropping back away. You're getting too close to them. You're getting too close. Why are you running back towards the plague? Why are you running back towards the plague? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Next one, next one, next one. And things were about to get even worse for them, as a group of players that had left them earlier on had come up with an idea. Wait, I can sell the milk. Oh yeah, oh yeah, time to abuse this. With milk being so valuable, four players grouped up in a nearby jungle and trapped a cow for them to get infinite milk from, allowing them to sell it to players with the plague, making them rich. But with Targon already having their own cow, this would only work if they made some changes. One third of the global population is the plague. They have a cow. We need to kill the cow and okay, sell the milk. Kill the cow. Yeah, go kill the cow. We'll we transport. We'll transport this cow. You go to kill the cow. So after coming up with their plan, a player called Quacks made his way back towards Targon in the hopes of killing their cow and taking over the milk industry. This is gonna get us executed. I hope you know that. You know what? We're gonna be rich. But things quickly took a turn as they arrived at Targon hoping to kill the cow and were caught in the act. Oh. Quack is trying to kill the cow. Quack was killing the cow. I need it. Can someone just play my pocket go? This meant, as expected, Quacks was executed for his attempt at killing their cow, causing the rest of their group to abandon their plan to sell milk before they were also killed. But there were a few players on this server that were planning to do much worse things than killing cows, as over at the Oma Oma civilization, their leader Vise had left this entire team behind as he went out to try and find the miners that never returned earlier. Do you want to come off with me and I'm going to go explore other civilizations? After everyone refused to follow him on his adventure, he went out all alone and found the Shroom Nation that had been peacefully living in the depths of the jungle for almost two hours now, without any contact with the other civilizations. And once he arrived, he was greeted into their team and instantly started to try and convince them into committing biological warfare against the other civilizations. Are you down to come spread the plague with me? Just not here, but to other civilizations, and then we can get milk and cure ourselves, and then we're fine. Look, I like, I like the idea. However, I need to know where the cow is. <laughs> they planned to purposefully catch the plague so that they could spread it to other civilizations, hoping to wipe them out. And since everyone on the server knew that Targon was struggling with the plague, they knew exactly where they could catch it. Um, that's them there. You see that? That's them. With Targon in their sights, they approached the island with one goal. To catch the plague. Hello? Hey boys, do you still have the plague? You guys still have yes, the plague? very much. Okay. So after going in, catching the plague, and each getting a bucket of milk, they left this island as they started their search for a civilization to spread the plague to. I know where a big ass civilization is and we'll just go give it to them. <laughs> nah, wait, <laughs> you're actually such a mug. <laughs> Bro, this is gonna be so good. Oh, okay, so wait, what we do is we give it to everyone and then we check the milk after. And then we leave. And then we just no. leave. Look at these guys. Oh my god. The civilization they were about to spread the virus to was called the Parrots, and they had managed to avoid the plague this entire time as they locked down their borders and isolated in their town hall when the phase started. Yo, it's the grand opening of the town hall. Everybody come look at it. Everybody in the yeah. town hall, in the town hall. As they all crammed into their town hall, they waited for the plague phase to end and then got back to building up their civilization as they had scouts keeping an eye out over their whole base, as they had actually expected people to try and spread the plague. Um, but there may be, maybe someone who's intentionally spreading it. it yeah, I don't think we should let anybody in. But despite predicting this, Tyler and Vise still saw their opportunity and took it as they snuck up to the walls of the parrot's base and came up with a plan. Hey, Tyler, Tyler, we'll, we'll sneak around. We'll sneak around, run through, and then just dip. <laughs> just run straight through. Do you have a boat? Do you have a boat? Yeah, uh, yeah I do. I do. All right, cool, 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 cool. We have to get out of here straight away, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm getting nausea. Hey, guys. Hello. Do you guys Hello, have the plague? Everyone. Nah. No. We don't know. Bro, that's what? gone. Oh, Angels, you know. You have that stuff. Yeah, that, that's gone. Bro, are you over. stupid? You just came in. <laughs> 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 
No, get, get it. Out. Put the boat down. Put the boat down. We need to go. We need to go. No, we gotta get out of the wall. We gotta get it. <laughs> no. <laughs> he said, bro. <laughs> After a successful swoop, they managed to infect almost the entire parrot civilization, as they made a swift escape into the distance, leaving them helpless as they had no cow nearby to cure themselves. Meaning they had to go out looking for one, which caused the plague to spread even more. Yo, do you guys have a cow by any chance? Wait, uh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, wait, don't get close to us, don't get close to us, we have the plague. And now that the plague had finally hit a civilization that didn't have access to a cow, their members started dying slowly as their symptoms developed to the point of blindness and wither. Oh, f withering. It's permanent. No. Goodbye. Goodbye, world. Uh, one kill. One kill. One. With no other options left, the leader of the parrots called Iso Shooter had to leave his team behind as he rushed towards Targon in the hopes to use their cow to cure himself. I am not dying to the plague. I'm going over there. Ugh. Ugh. Yo, do you guys know where milk is? No. I'm kind of... Bro, I don't see... I don't feel so well, bro. And as he arrived at Targon that were finally almost finished curing their entire civilization of the plague, he walked through reinfecting all of their members in his quest for milk. Drop it, drop it now. Hey, walk hey. away, walk away. Next person. Yo, any milk? Anyone with milk, please? Oh my god. I saw! I saw that. I saw. I saw, what are you doing? I saw, do you want to be cured, yes or no? Jesus Christ. And the milk, bro. After ISO had once again spread the plague to all of their cured players, he was labeled as a wanted player, but this didn't stop him from coming back to try and get some milk. Yo, where's the cow? Oh, oh you infected me now! Where's the cow? Somebody help! After ISO Shooter was spotted on this island once again, they tried to kill him, but he was able to escape just in time. I needed milk, sorry! Go, 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 get the milk. Do not come back, ISO. Now that ISO was gone, Fuego was able to restart his process and eventually cured their entire civilization of the plague after somehow having zero casualties. We have we have an order to this. It's okay, not hard bucket. to fix. Is everybody cured? I, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, that was super stressful. Dude, uh, no, dude, that's, dude I, I have a headache now, bro, because people can't listen. No, 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 come here, it's a whole bunch of kindergartners. And now, with only three minutes left on the island building phase, Targon had taken a huge hit, as not only was their team unorganized, but they had also fallen behind in development against the other civilizations who had been able to avoid the plague this whole time. Well, apart from the Wumpus Island, that had a slight scare earlier on. Alright, right, Aaron, let's go do Border Patrol. <laughs> Alright. When the second half of the build competition was announced, Aerokun and Ihutch took on the role of Border Patrol, as they circled their island making sure nobody approached them with the plague, allowing their builders to continue working on their civilization. But not long after they started their patrol, they spotted someone approaching their island on the coast nearby. Wait, 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 who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? What the hell? What do you mean? Yeah, this is the guy with us. Are you sure he was with us? I'm not sure. You have to play. I don't know this man. Um, but he has the plague, he has the plague. Get out, get out, he has the plague. You, stay where you are, stay where you are. Go, go on everybody. Yeah, he's, getting, he's coming, he's coming. You have to shoot. No, 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 I'll kill him, I'll kill him, I'll kill him. Who is that? Ihutch acted quickly to protect his civilization as he assassinated the infected player, which meant he was now infected, causing him to infect another one of their members. Stay with no, me. No, I got the plague. Wait, who, got who got it? Arrow, stay back. I've got the yeah, Astro got as well. Astro got as well. Go away, go away. Wait, okay, Astro has the plague as well, so it's not looking too great. Astro has the plague? Oh yeah. no. Somebody okay. get Astro the bucket. Luckily for the Wumpus Island, though, they had quarantined a cow off the coast of their island, allowing Aero to grab milk buckets and drop them to their members, curing them all of the plague, after successfully preventing it from breaking out all over the island. Everybody get onto the island, we're still doing quarantine. So after almost half an hour, the plague had officially died out after everyone that was infected had either died or cured themselves. Meaning with only two minutes left on the island building phase, each civilization that had been dealing with the plague had to try their best to make up for the time that they had lost. So nobody here got the plague anymore, right? 
Uh, yeah, I, I just got recently. I, I just got recently healed. So as the island building phase came to an end, each civilization prepared to be visited as they were expecting me to come to their islands and vote for their builds. But that wasn't the case, as the next phase had started. The tropical storm. Oh, no. uh oh, uh oh. Um, go into caves, go into caves, go into caves, go into caves. Let's go into caves. Oh god. Okay, so if we're inside, we're safe. Uh, it should be. A tropical storm was now working its way through the islands, bringing strong winds, destructive tornadoes, and acid rain, forcing players to take cover under shelter. Oh, oh my god. god. Everyone get oh. in, everyone. Wait, we lost it. Chug the guys. Yeah. Oh no. In the cave, in the cave. In the cave. Oh, okay. Wait, he's stuck. Craven, take that. Oh god, I almost died. I almost died. It got so much damage. Oh, there's so much. If a tornado starts, everyone run down here, please. Players tried their best to take cover from the storm, but the tornado started moving in, causing mass destruction to any bases in its way, as it even killed a few players in the process. Uh, you, you, you have to make a run for it, maybe. No, 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 no. Here. No! Oh my god, we lost Gashi! Oh no! Yeah, that, that is just amazing. Yep, that's, that's amazing. No! Oh my, no, not, not him <laughs> The Shroom Nation was its first victim as their population was knocked down to only three players as the rest of their members had been killed by the storm. And after it had blown past, they checked out the damage on their base, which didn't look good. But now, luckily for them, the storm had moved past as it started ripping apart entire civilizations. Uh, I don't know. I hope one doesn't tear through here, though. Oh! Oh my God! No, there we go. Huh? Oh, no God. tornado, huh? Ow! It does damage. Ah! I, I, I'm dead. My tower! Swim down! Swim down! No, Rick! Dude, my freaking tower! I thought it'd be safe in here. With huge damage being dealt to these places, a few players took cover in a treehouse that they had built, which was narrowly missed, whilst almost everyone else went underground or indoors to avoid the tornadoes. Yeah, it's all right, go. Oh, Emperor. Does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve? Steve! No, we Steve! Have to make the biggest grave. Tornado? We should get underground. Go, go, go. Everybody just get down here. Just jump. Hold on. Let me get down. Bro, what? Oh you didn't God. dig a staircase? Our base is probably like exploding as well, so. Like, I spent time sad. building as well. Depressing. Oh, well. Yeah. With a few more players being killed by the storm, most civilizations were lucky as it blew right past their islands off into the distance as the tropical storm phase came to an end. Now, the build vote phase was announced, meaning that any bases that were lucky enough to remain were given the option to take me on a tour, which started all the way over at the Wumpus Island. Arrow. Hello. It's that time. I got oh, one so thank you. you have this yeah. amazing tower. Um, Hi. Person. Yeah. Do you Hello? have any extra gear? Okay. No. We've got some amazing pentas all around the island that make it look pretty interesting. Just one like last time. You you guys following suit from last time. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Um, Ooh, this brings down your rating a little bit. No, no. Dude, who built this? Who built this? Monkey man. This is art, is it? Is it? Yeah, it's an art piece. Or a beautiful dictator. Okay. Um, we don't talk about that one. Um, hello there. What's going on? Oh, it. Wait, that's an odd-looking cow. No, that's Alfredo the panda. Ah, okay, of course. Yeah, yeah. He he has a uh, he he has his morphia, so he doesn't know he's a panda. After showing me their more interesting builds. Next up was the parrot civilization. Uh, so first we got the watchtower. And this is our bridge. Somebody made it for us and then we just fortified a little bit. He actually died while making it. We got the town hall with the parrots. What level? Yeah. What, what do you mean? <laughs> what, what level is your town hall? Oh, it's, well. oh, it's, it's, well. it's the max. The storm's armory. We, you can pay for armor, but it's tax of one extra. Oh. Wherever you're making. Okay. With them being a smaller civilization, their builds were far less advanced than the bigger teams, which was the same over at the Oma Oma civilization, that had basically given up earlier on, meaning they only had a farm, some half-built houses, and a bar to show me. But this didn't stop them from trying to win over some extra points by offering me a drink. Welcome, adventurers, <laughs> to the beers and gears. What can I get for you? Um, <laughs> a beer, please. A beer? Well, uh, we have a bucket of water. As I moved on from here, next up was Targon, that was still by far the biggest civilization on the server. 
You know exactly what this oh. is. Is it? What is this? This is my fart. Hi, can I have a melon slice, please? I got you, sword, here. Here you go. Despite them having to deal with the plague for almost half an hour earlier on, their civilization had made some great developments as they had built houses, stores, docks, and of course, their prison. John, how are you still here? As you can see, as you can see. This is the jail. He made a bad crime. It seemed, after all, Targon had actually come together and built something great, as they continued to show me around their restaurants, outposts, and told me all about their religion. This is where we <laughs> preach to, to the holy sapling. Okay. I don't know why that's in here, but hey, holy sapling. After finishing up at Targon, I visited the Golden Kingdom. The team that had managed to stay out of trouble for this entire event, allowing them to build up a huge treehouse, a bakery, and a mineshaft, giving them a great chance of winning the build competition, as it felt like they had formed more of a family than a civilization. We're, we're gonna have yes. one minute of silence for Steve. Who's behind us? Oh. <laughs> 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 I was in the F5 and I saw him behind us. And finally, I had to include the Jungle Kingdom and the Gorilla Camp that had both been built up by a few small civilizations that had been hiding away from all of the other teams as they had just been trying their best to survive through this event. Where is yeah, everyone else? Everyone else kind of died. Oh. Yeah, we had like seven, seven, us left. 7 to 12 people and all everyone else died from the plague or Good at Lord. being attacked. So now that all bases had been toured, it was clear to me which civilization had won as I went back to Targon to tell them the news about their reward, which was linked to the next phase in the event, as the build competition came to an end and the treasure hunt had started. Treasure hunt. How do we find it? How do we find the treasure chest? A treasure chest had been buried somewhere on the beaches of one of these islands, and as the winners of the build competition were given a hint as to the location of the treasure, Fuego Wave decided to keep this quiet as he wanted to make sure nobody stole their reward. Oh, hey, wait. guys! That's awesome. Shh, 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 shh. Guys, go, go to the south of the map without saying anything to anyone else. Don't tell anyone else, go to the south of the map. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. As they sent out a group of players to the south of the map hoping to find the treasure, others just started digging in the sand nearby as they tried to narrow down the location of the treasure. We just need to search every single beach. It's gonna be a main beach probably, not these small ones. So whilst these guys checked every beach they could find, Fuego Wave managed to get a group of players to follow him to the south end of the map as they followed their hint and started tearing up the beaches when they arrived. Why am I digging with my fist? Who is a shovel? Just dig with your keep mining. Mine this beach boys, extract it all. Extract everything! After a few minutes of digging, one of their members managed to uncover the chest from the sand, revealing tons of diamonds, netherite, gold, and the resources for an enchantment table, giving these players a huge boost in resources as they quickly shared out the loot that they had found to armor up their team. But as it was announced in chat that Jif had found the treasure, they started to worry about the target that this would put on their back. I, I can Guys, we have to be ready place. for Arrow. Arrow's gonna come and kill us. With the thought that they would be killed by Aerocon for this treasure, Fuego told the team to act like someone had stolen it from them, meaning they would no longer have the loot which would save Unmute Ban Jif from being killed. Alright, let me lead us back in, so in case you guys can... Listen, if I start getting jumped, y'all just leave, okay? I'm muted. I'm muted, I'm muted, I'm muted. I'm muted. We're gonna just say someone else stole it, not you. But all the way back at the Wumpus Island, Aero had much bigger things to worry about, as he was dealing with a civil war that had broken out on his island. Earlier on, when they had finished their island tour, Aero left the Wumpus Island behind in the hands of three players, as he took the entire team on an adventure to scout out a few of the other civilizations. But the three players that were left behind weren't happy, as Aero had basically forced them to stay. I'm gonna uh, revolt. I'm we, gonna are we are servants. We are servants. We need a... This is not fair. No, I'm tired of this. I'm this tired of this true. too. Wait, hold on. As these three players talked about their dislike of how they had been treated, Mind of Neo suggested something risky. We're being expected hold to on. stay here at base Wait, hold while on. they go out. We could, we could trap. We need to trap the big guys though. After agreeing to try and trap their leaders, they got straight to work with the limited time that they had before Aero and the rest of the group came back, as they were currently doing a tour around the map, checking out the other civilizations. Oh, wait, Sword is there. <laughs> Loop around, loop around, loop around. So whilst they continued on their journey, back at the island, Astro, Qualls, and Neo were able to start making some real progress with the trap. That was the final straw, telling us to stay at this island. 
Like, I know Hutch said please and all, but like... Nah, the please don't cut it no more. At least we... Yeah, we can't, we can't just be servants to the masses. But once the trap was built, they still had to come up with a way to get their whole team inside. We either live legends or die trying. Bro, Arrow's never been killed in one of these events, like... Are you serious? Why is he so popular? He sucks at PvP. Because he's known as the heavy PvP guild guy. Okay, get get him here. Get only Arrow. Message Arrow. Be like, we only need you. There's people here. Bro, that's so sus. What are you? <laughs> now, but Qualls and Arrow, like, he's not gonna suspect anything from Qualls. Oh. Qualls is so peaceful. Qualls, like, nice guy. We're gonna show him. We're gonna show him what we're made of. Okay, I sent him a message. Two or three peeps in full sets here. We're hiding right now. And after standing around for a few minutes, there was no reply from Arrow, and they couldn't see him anywhere. What's okay? What's the update? We're still waiting. No reply yet. Now that the trap was finished, Qualls and Neo saw the announcement of the treasure hunt phase, which of course they wanted to take part in. Yo, I'm gonna check for the treasure chest. I'm gonna go across to this one. Okay. Uh, traps ready. Where do you think the chest could be? I'm not sure, but it's on the beach. That's all we know. So as these two left the trap behind to start searching for the treasure, this meant Astro was all alone, waiting for Aero to come back. And he was on his way with the whole team. Who told you that there are people at our base? Uh, all of our builders, Quasi. With Qualls and Neo searching the beaches, when Aero arrived back, he charged onto the island with his teammates, looking for the three attackers that he had been told about, that of course, didn't exist. Where are they? Astro, where are the people that they? came over? Oh, oh. They're trying to kill us. Astro's in our team. Astro's in our team. Oh my god. Astro, you're so. You're so. <laughs> you're so. <laughs> How has that failed? You're... The trap failed horribly as it wasn't deep enough, meaning as the whole team ran through, none of them died. And now Lead Astro had the entirety of the Wumpus Island trying to hunt him down, as he managed to escape from the island as they had fallen into the trap giving him time to run over to Qualls and Neo to tell them the news. Bro, run, run, run. They came out of nowhere. But instead of running away with Astro, Qualls and Neo turned around as they threw him under the bus, hoping to save their own lives. Yo, oh, why God. did you guys, why did you guys let that guy build the full trap? I'm killing you. What fall trap? What? 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 What fall trap? Right, okay. That, Wait, what Astro happened? Astro guy just built a full trap to try and kill us. Which um, guy? We're going to go what? kill him. Lead Astro. Astro? After they somehow convinced iHutch and Aero that they weren't involved with the trap, as they gave the most obvious lie to Hutch, they had no choice but to join them in their hunt for Astro to avoid suspicion being put back on them. Bro, Qualls. Oh my god. Bro, Astro is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, why do we leave? You're such a good liar. <laughs> Bro, I wasn't going to throw myself under. They caught him, they caught him in the that axe, was, there's nothing we can do. That was so crazy. And as they continued their hunt for Astro, Qualls continued to make things worse for him, as he kept making up lies to get him in more trouble. Yeah, but we looted our terrible. chests in the lighthouse as well and took the uh, stupid. But after doing an entire loop around the island, they couldn't find Astro anywhere, which caused them to give up as their focus was changed towards the treasure hunt that had finished 15 minutes ago. We've no. circled the whole okay. island. Okay, wait. You're not here. The whole we've map. Circled we the circled whole the whole map. We're looking for... Okay, go to Fergus. Go to Fergus. As they were frustrated that Astro had managed to escape, Aero was no longer interested in being peaceful, as over the last two events, his patience had been tested too much. Meaning, as expected, he now wanted that treasure. And with it being announced earlier that Unmute Ban Jeff had found it, they started making their way over to the island of Targon. So I'm gonna ask Fuego for the treasure. If he's not going to give it, we gotta do it the other way around. We oh, ask cool. nicely and then kill him if he doesn't. Like... Yeah. We ask nicely, if they deny, we the... might have to stand that war. Whilst the Wumpus Island made their way over, Fuego and the rest of the group arrived back at their island with the treasure as they stuck with their lie that it was stolen after they found it. Yo, Fuego. Uh, bo, Bo, someone, this zombie skin, if you see him, get his ass, because he stole everything in the chest and dipped, because we found it, and he grabbed everything and ran. We don't know what the f he went. Damn. That dude that will It's like actually f annoying, because apparently there's some good ass in there. Like what? Like, they said there's a ton of diamonds in netherite. God, no. Yeah. Uh, we don't know what the f he went. Hey, bro, I'm going to keep a buck with you. I lied to you. 
I told them I told them that we were gonna lie to you guys so that Era wouldn't know. I'm gonna get them start working on an underground passage so we can get the fuck out in case Era attacks. And as they expected, Era was on his way to get that treasure. If you deny us, we Yeah. I just saw the guy arrive here with the stuff. Oh. Fuego apparently is yeah. denying it, so uh With their plan organized, Arrow and I Hutch arrived at Targon looking for Fuego. Yo, hey. Hello. Do you, are you guys even sure even you don't have back the back treasure? No, no we don't. Someone you mute sure? got it. It literally said in the chat on mute got it. No, yeah, and back. I happen to just see a mute arrive at the back of your base. Oh it's him. Where's Fuego? Hey Fuego. Arrow, what's up? Ah, we need a little talk here. Um Alright, uh, what's good? What's good? You see, you need me? Alright, so there's a boy on the street that you got treasure lord. Listen, I'm getting a lot of whispers saying you're looking to kill me. I don't know if that's true or not, but... No, oh, fair enough. Uh, well, you got the I, gun. I'm peaceful. As the pressure was put on Fuego, Qualls decided to continue digging the hole deeper for lead Astro as he mentioned him again midway through their conversation. Fuego, Astro was spotted with you guys. Is that true? Yeah. Who is? Astro. Okay, hey, nice. Hey, 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 oh, whoa, whoa. You are right, harboring a guess hostage who tried it. to assassinate me. You're dying. Guess it's happening. <laughs> but what the f did I do? No way. Who killed him? I think he who was, was it? After Qualls lied once again, I Hutch that was almost trapped and killed by Astro had finally had enough as he swung and killed Fuego for hiding Astro from them sending this entire island into chaos as members from the Targon civilization started arguing with the Wumpus members over the death of Fuego Wave. Whoa! Wait, did they actually kill Fuego? They killed Fuego. Oh. Guys, they killed Fuego. What are you doing? That's me gone. Now with these two civilizations on the brink of war, Aero had to act quick before he had a repeat of the previous event as he knew going to war with Targon would only end in devastation. And with that in mind, he had only one option to make things right for the people of Targon. So we know you shouldn't have killed Fuego there. Like, was, we didn't even do oh, anything. Oh, I got you, you a big present there. I got you a big present like, You should have just attacked him and it you actually ready? happened. You won't, need, you won't be needing so that anymore. So we can only end this one no. way and one way only. Oh Nothing brought so much, but it is what hey, it is. Oh. W. Yeah, nothing personal. It had to be done. Wait, that's I Hutch. That's I, I Hutch. Wait. What happened? Who killed Hutch? It had to be done. It had to be done. Wait, why did you kill him? What did he do? Wait, did you get he any kill... armor from that? He killed Fuego. I Hutch was killed by Aero for his crimes after he assassinated Fuego Wave without any proof that they were even hiding Astro from them, allowing both of these civilizations to calm down as the people of Targon accepted the sacrifice of Hutch. But now, before any other conflicts broke out, the Wumpus civilization left Targon behind as they headed home to their island to continue building up their civilization. And with Targon now under new rule, these two civilizations lived alongside each other in peace as they started to work on cleaning up their islands and once again developing their civilizations. Which couldn't exactly be said for the Golden Kingdom, that during all of this chaos had been out on the seas with the plan of attacking another civilization. Let's go! Yeah, let's, go. Right, let's go! Let's go! On their journey, they spotted the Oma Oma civilization, that still after nearly three hours were waiting for their miners to come back, which didn't seem likely as after they caught the plague, they had died in the jungle as they tried to make their way home. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Ow. Where did you go? I'm lost. No. Nah, we're gonna fall like in some ravine. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> but things were only going to get worse for the people of Oma Oma, as the Golden Kingdom came over and used their code word apples to launch an attack on these people. We come in. We come hey, in peace. We come in peace. We come in peace. We come in peace. Well, yeah, you guys have any you apples? Have a boat. No. no, we do not have apples. Have any apples? Okay, oh, hey, oh, oh my god! Oh, yo! Chill, chill. chill. Let's take the oh, W, boys! They're literally worked perfectly, let's go! Let's go! After they wiped out this whole civilization, they soon found out that the people of Oma Oma were actually allied with the Wumpus Island 
Meaning if they found out that the Golden Kingdom did this, they would most definitely be wiped off the face of the server. Just like they did to the people of the Oma Oma civilization. <laughs> that was insane. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. Realistically, how many people are on Aero's team? It was a lot. Um, Too many. Luckily for them, since they had killed everyone from this civilization, there was nobody left alive to tell the Wumpus civilization what had happened, allowing the Golden Kingdom to leave this place and return home before they were caught as they stayed at their base, hoping that the Wumpus civilization would never find out about what they did. But now, as 80 players remained on the server, they had all successfully survived through the island experiment as the remaining civilizations stood strong, allowing them to live together in peace and continue to build up these islands into something great. On this journey, we saw what would happen if players were left all alone to fight against tropical storms, deadly diseases, and the actions of other players. But as these guys all lived in peace, the Survival Island Civilization Experiment had officially come to an end.